Guys, what is good? And happy Easter, Sixer Nation. Your boy BLSG back in the building for another Philadelphia 76ers live play-by-play -play and reaction here on the channel. That's right, ladies and gents. We are back for another one here this evening. We have a bit of an early game here in terms of the in terms of the later times here on the East Coast for our Eastern for our Eastern Standard Time people. But for this matchup here, we have the 39 and 35 Philadelphia 76ers with a record of 18 and 19 on the road. Only four games above 500. Taking on the 23 and 50, let's just say depleted Toronto Raptors with the record of 13 and 24 at home. The 76ers looking to get a bounce back win today after what I do believe is a three game losing streak for them. I do believe they are on a three game losing streak, and I am correct in saying that. The Toronto Raptors, on the other hand, I do believe have lost what is 12 straight games in a row. If I am not mistaken in saying that as well, I do believe they've lost their last 12 games. And I am correct in stating that as well. The Toronto Raptors coming into this one, losing their last 12 games. The 76ers on a three-game losing streak. One of these two teams will get the W and get off of their losing streak and get back on the winning ways. It would be helpful, though, for the Sixers in terms of playoff positioning to where they will end up, whether, whether if it will be in the play-in tournament or if it will be in one of the top six seeds. We shall see what happens here in this Eastern Conference matchup. But shout out to everyone that's already coming through, ladies and gents. We have four people tuning in here. Appreciate all you guys for coming through and tuning in already on this Easter Sunday. If you guys have not done so, ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to go ahead and hit the like button on the stream. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And everybody, be sure to go ahead and share out this stream so we can bring more viewers up into the chat. You guys know how we rock and roll as always, so let's get down to business here. You guys already know where we have to go ahead and start off. We've got to go ahead and start off with the chat here. My guy, Daniel Berry Sports Highlights, being the first one up in here. What's going on, my guy? I appreciate you for coming through. Hit the like button if you have done so. Daniel, appreciate you for coming through the stream. MC, appreciate you for coming through as well. What's going on, MC? Says, let's go Sixers. Phillies finally got their first win today. Yes, sir, MC. Before, real quick, I before I continue, MC, relating to your comments saying the Phillies finally got their first win today, that's why I went ahead and pulled out the Philly shirt for this one. I had to go ahead and represent them because they finally get their first win of the year and it had to come against the Atlanta Braves. I know I'm kind of overreacting a little bit to just one out of three wins to start off the year against the Atlanta Braves, but I'd rather go ahead to, and lose to them in the regular season to start off the season rather than to go ahead and lose to them in the playoffs. But MC also appreciate you for coming through and tuning in as well. Hit the like button if you're not done so MC appreciate you for coming through the stream. And we got that followed up by my guy Ryan Graham. What's going on Ryan? Appreciate you for coming through. Haven't seen you up in the chat, my guy, but I hey, appreciate you for coming through and tuning in. Hit the like button if you're not done so Ryan appreciate you for coming through the stream. As MC says, yeah buddy. Says, hey, Ryan, happy Easter. Yes, sir. Happy Easter to everybody that's coming up in the chat. Out, shout out to the BLSG community up in here. Everybody supporting everybody who celebrates Easter on Easter Sunday. Our Lord is officially risen from the dead after three days being buried. So here we are. But ladies and gents, real quick, before we go ahead and get this game started, we have to go ahead and you guys pretty much know how this works. We got to go ahead and go through the injury report. For both sides of this one. So the newest injury to added to the Philadelphia 76ers injury report. Hence why I'm not wearing the jersey. Tyrese Maxey has been ruled out for tonight's game against the Toronto Raptors. With a hip injury according to Blake Murphy of, sports, of Sportsnet.ca. Who was the first one to report it. As of right now it's not looking like a serious injury for Tyrese Maxey. So we're going to hope that he can come back on Tuesday when the Philadelphia 76ers will take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then obviously we know that Robert Covington, still listed as out with the knee injury, will not play in Sunday's game against the Raptors. But it is looking like Robert Covington could return as soon as Tuesday 
rolls around. So look for him to potentially have an opportunity to be on the court coming off the bench on Tuesday. Be on the lookout for that because he could be back that day. Then also listed is out for the Philadelphia 76ers. Obviously, we know Joel Embiid also listed as out for the 76ers with the knee injury, but did travel with the 76ers on their two-game road trip, according to Noah Levin of NBC Sports Philadelphia, who was the first one to go ahead and report that. It's also being stated that Joel Embiid also could return as soon as Tuesday against Oklahoma against OKC. So be on the lookout for both Robert Covington and Joel Embiid to return by that point in time. And the 76ers look to get healthy at the right time as well. So be on the lookout for those two to potentially return on Tuesday night, possibly. It's not guaranteed yet because they didn't state it. But be on the lookout for those two and be on the lookout for those injury updates come Tuesday against OKC. And if the final guy list that's out is shooting guard DeAnthony Melton. List that's out with a back injury. They're saying he wasn't close to playing, but it's looking like DeAnthony Melton could return as soon as I do believe it did say April 14th. So DeAnthony Melton could return with one regular season game to go, if I'm not mistaken, on that's when on if that's when the 76ers final regular season game is, which I do believe that is their final regular season game against the Brooklyn Nets, if I'm not mistaken in saying that. And that is the case. So look for Anthony Melton to have an opportunity to get a game under his belt and get his mid sweat in terms of his shooting against the Brooklyn Nets in the final game of the year. Now going over to the Toronto Raptors side. Now when I looked at this, ladies and gentlemen, they have a long injury report. Long, okay? They got a long injury report the last time I looked. <laughs> they have a long injury report the last time I looked. So if that's the case, there should be no excuses the 76ers do not win this game today. There should be no excuses. First guy listed is out here for the Toronto Raptors. We're just going to go up and down just like so. First guy listed is out is shooting guard RJ Barrett. Listed is out with a personal matter, but he's getting back into his groove with the team. But has been ruled out for this evening's contest against the 76ers, according to Josh Lewenberg of TSN.ca, who was the first one to go ahead and report that. Also listed as out is guard DJ Carton. Listed as out with an ankle injury. Will also remain sidelined for today's game against the 76ers. Also reported by Josh Lewenberg of TSN.ca. Who was the first one to go ahead and report that. Also listed as out shooting guard Emmanuel quickly. Listed as out with conditioning. So he's just kind of getting back into the swing of things. And will also not play in this evening's contest against the, against the 76ers. That was first reported by Vivek Jacob of the Raptors official website. Also listed as out, former Utah Jazz member Ochai Agbaji listed as out with a hip injury. Will not play in today's game against the 76ers, according to Eric Kareen of The Athletic. Center Yaka Perto listed as out with a hand injury. But according to head coach Darko Rehakovic, Jakob has been doing some light on-court work, but still hasn't been cleared for contact. Also reported by Josh Bloomberg of PSN.ca. Small forward Scotty Barnes, also reported by head coach Darko Rehakovic, saying that Scotty Barnes has been doing some light on-court work, but still hasn't been cleared for contact due to a hand injury, like I said before. Also reported by Josh Lewenberg of TSN.ca, who was the first one to report that. Continuing on with the injury report here, center Jonte Porter listed as out for apparently what looks to be some sort of suspension. As it says, Porter's been away from the team because he's the subject of an NBA investigation into irregularities on prop betting involving him, according to Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN. And the final guy listed as out here for the Toronto Raptors is power forward Chris Boucher, who suffered a partial MCL tear in his right knee and will undergo further testing in the coming days, according to Caitlin Gray of TSN, who was the first one to go ahead and report that. So I'm just saying, with the very short-handed Raptors lineup, there is no reason the 76ers cannot win today. I know they don't have Tyrese Maxey. I know Tobias Harris has to kind of look like the number one scorer on the team. I know, okay, I completely get that. But there's no reason the 76ers cannot win this game today against a depleted Raptors roster. There's no excuses. 
This happens in Eastern MC. As the starting lines come in here for both teams right now, for the Philadelphia 76ers is Kyle Lowry, Cameron Payne, Tilly Oubre, Tobias Harris, and Mo Bamba. For the Toronto Raptors is Javon Freeman Liberty, Gary Trent Jr., Grady. We're going to call him Grady because the last name I don't want to say it. Bruce Brown, and then Kelly Olenek here for the Toronto Raptors. Coming in, guys, live from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, Canada, home of the Toronto Raptors, where the 76ers will take them on here in this Eastern Conference matchup in Toronto, Ontario. Looks like the 76ers are going to be rocking their blue jerseys for this matchup, and the Toronto Raptors look to be rocking their red jerseys for this game. What to watch for in this game here for the Philadelphia 76ers with this game being televised on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Defend the three-point shots and get back on defense. Absolutely. you got to do that to pretty much win every game of the year. They might as well put that for what to watch in every single game for the remainder of the regular season. Mo Bomb versus Kelly Olenek in the jump ball. And Kelly Olenek's going to win the jump ball. It's going to go into the hands of Javon Freeman Liberty. And we are underway here from Scotiabank Arena. Freeman Liberty with the ball going to get over to, looks like Bruce Brown going to get it over to Kelly Olenek. Olenek going to sling it back, sling it back over to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown looking for options. Guard by Mo Bamba, kicking it out to Liberty. Liberty going to drive, kick it out to Grady. Grady coming on the inside for a mid-range jumper. Swirl the iron, misses it. I'll be rebounded by Tobias Harris. And here comes Philadelphia as it's now in the hands of Kyle Lowry. Lowry with the ball, bring it down the floor. Going to open up to Bamba, and Bamba's going to throw it down. With a massive two and a jam off the alley oop from Kyle Lowry. Great start for the Sixers early on. Liberty with the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Going to get it over to Kelly Olenek. Olenek looking for options here. Dancing for dear life. Has that ball hooked away by Olenek, but Olenek picks it up, gets it in the hands of Bruce Brown. Trying to get it over to Freeman Liberty, but Freeman Liberty cannot corral the. Play and cannot pick up the ball, so it will go to the Sixers. Here we go. Kyle Lowry with the ball here for Philadelphia. Going to get it over to Cameron Payne. Payne looking for options here. Payne going to his right, left, all alone at the right wing for three. And catch me out, says Cameron Payne, who knocks down the three-point shot from the right wing. Here we go. Grady with the ball. Gonna get over to Kelly Olenek. Link looking for options here. Now he'll drive on Bomba. Now he'll go with the step back fadeaway from 15 feet out and he'll put it in with the tough fadeaway shot, sending Mo Bomba packing. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball. Going to bring it down the floor. Payne looking for options here. Go, here he goes around the screen. Going to find Tobias Harris. Going to launch a three here. Too strong off the window. Bomba trying to get the rebound, but it'll be picked up by Freeman Liberty instead. Freeman Liberty going to drive. Going to try to finger roll it up and in for two. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Bomba. Now into the hands of Kyle Lowry. Lowry with the ball, going to launch a three, and he's wide open, and he sinks it through the hole, and Kyle Lowry puts it in for two, for three, I should say. That's big time right there. Three of four are the 76ers to start this game in terms of the shooting aspect of things here. Cody Lynn with the ball, going to find Gary Trent Jr. for three, shortens the shot, and rebounded by Bamba. Now into the hands of Kyle Lowry, and here come the Sixers. Lowry with the ball, spacing the floor. Now guarded by Freeman Liberty. Kyle Lowry with the ball going to find Oubre. Oubre going to drive on Olenek. Oubre going to put it for two. Gets it to go. Off the iron and off the window. And Toronto wants a timeout to talk things over early. A massive quick 10-2 start here for the road team in the Philadelphia 76ers. Looking to pick up this win here on their three-game losing streak right now. Can they pull it off, though, for four quarters straight? We shall see. Darko Rehakovic, the head coach here of the Toronto Raptors, after taking over from that from the coach they had before. I think they had a an assistant coach take coaching them. Unless if I'm thinking of the coach on uh, Milwaukee that got fired. My guy Charles Adley, what's going on, my guy? Appreciate you for coming through. Says USB Sports Channel. Happy Easter Sunday. Hey Charles, man, appreciate you for coming through. Happy Easter to you. As well, my guy, hit the like button if you're not done so, Charles. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. 
I'm doing great, Charles. Hopefully you're doing the same, my guy. Hope everybody's doing well on this Easter Sunday, ladies and gents. Our Lord has truly risen from the dead after three days of being buried. And now as a as a true Christian, got to go ahead and say that right there. So, again, our Lord has risen from the dead. So, there we go. It says like, share, and subscribe to be a part of BLC Sports Channel. Yes, sir, you already know. Must win game for the 76ers today. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. They need to get this win today. Absolutely. Because you got to go ahead and play OKC on Tuesday. And, that, and you already know that's going to be a tough game regardless. You already know that's going to be a tough game. After this game, you have a stretch of OKC, Miami, Memphis, San Antonio, Detroit, Orlando, and Brooklyn. That's it. That's Those are the, remainder ga the remaining games of the season after tonight. After tonight, OKC, Miami, Memphis, San Antonio, Detroit, Orlando, Brooklyn. That's it. It's happy Easter, Charles. Yes, sir. Nothing wrong with being a true Christian. Oh, my God bless you. AMC, God bless you as well. Our Lord is truly risen from the dead on this day. We do see Tyrese Maxey in street clothes with a drink in his right hand. Tyrese Maxey out for, in this game with left hip tightness, and Joel Embiid still out with left knee with a left knee meniscus. But again, like I said before, look for Joel Embiid to potentially make his return to the floor on Tuesday night. As Bruce Brown is going to get a floater up for two, can't get to fall as the game is back on. Rebounded by the Sixers, Cameron Payne throwing a terrible pass though. Picked up by Bruce Brown in the hands of Gary Trent Jr. And Gary Trent Jr. puts it in for two. This is not what we need to see out of commercial break. But Cameron Payne with the ball. I'm going to get it over to Mo Bamba. I'm going to find Kyle Lowry. Lowry guarded by Gary Trent Jr. Going to get it over to Cameron Payne at the right wing. Payne going to drive on the inside. Kick it out to Bamba. Who launches a three from 25 feet out. Can't get to fall. That's going to be rebounded here by Freeman Liberty. Now to the hands of Kelly Olenek, who puts the shot up for two. Can't get it to go. And a foul will be called here in shooting motion here by Cameron Payne. So this will send Kelly Olenek to the charity stripe here to shoot two free throws and potentially make this a four-point game. We're going to make it 10-6 here as Kelly Olenek representing the Toronto Raptors. So far averaging 9.2 points per game as well as 5.1 rebounds per game is Kelly Olenek as he makes the first free throw here at the line. As we see Darko Rehakovic on the sideline, the Raptors head coach. As the second one at the line is also good here for the second one at the line is also good here for Kelly Olenek, and the Raptors only down by four. Harris with the ball gonna get over to Mo Bamba. Bamba guarded by Olenek, gonna get it over to Harris around the screen. Harris gonna try to drive. Harris gonna fade away on the shot for two, can't get it to go. Mo Bamba trying to rebound and cannot get away with it. As it's picked up by Bruce Brown. In the hands of Gary Trent Jr. Trent going to launch it out to Grady. Grady going to dump it off to Olenek. And Olenek will not be able to keep possession of the basketball as it will go the other way. And it will go with the Sixers. A massive opportunity here for the 76ers to get back to their scoring ways. Kelly Olenek's got butter, butter fingers off of that pass from Grady. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball. Going to get it over to Kyle Lowry. Over to Kelly Uber. Uber coming through. Lay it up. Can't get to fall. Rebounded by Olenek. Olenek with the ball. Going to get it over to Freeman Liberty, who lays it up and lays it in. Javon Freeman Liberty making the two point shot off of the assist from Kelly Olenek. Here we go. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Gets it over to, to Tobias Harris. Harris going to flip it back to Larry. Out to Oubre in the left corner for three. And Oubre gets it to drop. Big time play right there from Kelly Oubre. We need him to get aggressive tonight. But that's a massive three right there from Kelly Oubre. And the ball is stolen away here by the Sixers.
Here comes Payne. Gets it off to Oubre. Oubre in the corner three and back to back. Jack Spartelli Oubre Jr. And back to back threes on top of that. Big time shot from Kelly Oubre. Bruce Brown trying to throw a dart over to Gary Trump Jr., but could not come away with it. As we do have a first I have a foul called here on the floor, I should say, on Kelly Oubre. So this will be an inbound pass here coming for the Toronto Raptors. Here we go. Bruce Brown to go ahead and inbound it. Inbounds it to Olenek, launching a three. Swirls the iron off the window and misses it. And be rebounded here by the Sixers. Karen Payne with the ball. Going to get it over to Tobias Harris. Harris looking for options here. Harris trying to drive with it. But if I was going to be called here, it looks like on Bruce Brown. But it will be a foul on the floor here, so we'll just be an inbound pass here for the 76ers. And in the meantime, though, we do have some lineup changes coming as Jordan Nawara will enter the game for Grady for the Toronto Raptors. And Nico Batum and Paul Reed will enter the game to replace Tobias Harris and Mo Bamba. You see Jordan Nawar coming on the floor. Grady goes to, to the bench. Ubre to inbound. Ubre trying to inbound and find a man. Finds Cameron Payne on the inbound. Payne going to flip it out to Ubre, who tries to play it up for two. Can't get it to go. Going to be rebounding here by Freeman Liberty, who tries to get it out to Jordan Nawar in the left corner for three, but cannot do so. And it will be 76ers basketball, and the Sixers will take over. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball. Around to Paul Reed's screen. Payne looking for options. Going to dump it off to Reed. Reed at the free throw line right now. Going to get mm -hmm. dump it out on the outside to Oubre. Oubre going to dump it on the inside. Back to Reed. And Reed is wide open. Left all alone. Under the, under the basket and puts the ball through the hole. Bruce Brown with the ball. Going to hand it off to Kelly Olenek who darts it down to Freeman Liberty in the corner for three. And Freeman Liberty hits a Nice three from the corner and puts the Raptors down by seven. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Dumps it off to Reed. Reed puts some work in the paint. Puts the shot up off the window. Puts it in and one. Big time shot right there from B-Ball Paul. And he'll go to the line to shoot one more. The foul will be called here against Kelly Olenek. And Paul Reed will step up to the charity strike. And we'll shoot the 15-footer here for the Sixers. We'll look to make it a 10-point lead. And the ball will swirl the, swirl the iron on the free throw. The ball will swirl the iron on the free throw here and miss for Paul Reed. The Raptors did pick up the rebound defensively, but it was a there was a loose ball foul called on Kyle Lowry. So it will remain Raptors ball regardless. As Bruce Brown with the ball can get over to Kelly O'Lenick, finding Gary Trent. Gary Trent Jr. looking for options, dancing for dear life. Going to find Bruce Brown who lays it up and puts it in. Bruce Brown from five feet out gets it to go for, for the Raptors. It's Cameron Payne with the ball. Going to get it over to Kyle Lowry. Lowry going to dump it off here to Payne. Payne going to launch a three from the right wing. Too strong off the iron. Misses it. And we rebound here by Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown going to get it over to Gary Trent Jr. Launching a three, and it's cash money here for Gary Trent Jr. But they called an offensive foul on Kelly Olynyk. So Kelly Olynyk called for the offensive foul. Looks like the illegal, looks like an illegal screen will be called. But in the meantime, though, for the for both sides, Kelly Olenek early on with two personal fouls here in the first quarter, so he will head to the bench, and Garrett Temple will enter the game for him. Also, Buddy Heald will also enter the game here to replace Kyle Lowry. Here we go. Inbound passes in here from Batum to Payne. Payne going to hand it off back to Batum, going to find Uber at the top of the key. Uber going to dance with it, going to find Buddy Heald. Heald at the top of the key, wide open for three as Heald, and hits it. Buddy Heald comes right into the game and says, let me cash in some points real quick. Let me put some points in. 
Scary Trim with the ball. Going to find Freeman Liberty for three. Shortens the shot. Rebounded by Oubre. Who will dart it out to Cameron Payne. And Payne going to bring it down the floor. Payne going to take it coast to coast. And Payne sends it to the rim. And a timeout called here by Darko Rehakovic to talk things over with this Toronto Raptors team. It is your Philadelphia 76ers here with the 25-13 to 13 lead here over the Toronto Raptors with 441 remaining here in the first quarter as the Raptors already called their second timeout here of the first quarter. And the 76ers look to stay aggressive and look to go ahead and sweep the Raptors here on the regular season series. And that's right when I had, went ahead and said that, ladies and gents, as in the first time that these as in the first three times that the, these two teams met up, the 76ers defeated the Toronto Raptors the first time, 114-107, to 107, on October 28th of 2023. They also went ahead and defeated the Raptors on November 2nd, 114-99. to 99. And on December 22nd, they went ahead and beat the Toronto Raptors again, 121-111. to 111. So the 76ers looking to sweep the Raptors. They already have the regular season series locked up, but they are looking for the sweep here. My guy Eagles, what's going on, my guy? Appreciate you for coming through. It says gave you a like and happy Easter. Hey, happy Easter to you, my guy Eagles. Appreciate you for coming through and tuning in, my guy. Hit the like button if you're not done so, Eagles. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. This is the Phillies final one today. You already know, my guy. Hey, Eagles, my guy, real quick. That's why I had to go ahead and pull the shirt out. I had to go ahead and do it because Tyrese Max is not playing tonight, and I really don't have much of anything else to wear in terms of options. So I had to go ahead and support the Phillies real quick for getting the first win. And having it come against the Atlanta Braves is so much sweeter. I love it. This is Go Sixers. You already know, as NC says, right, Eagles? Yes, sir. You see it. Did you hear what happened to Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice? I didn't get the I didn't get to see all the details on what happened to Rasheed Rice, but I did hear about it. So Ryan Rowe, what's going on, my guy? I appreciate you for coming through. Says Uber back to back three pointers and fine and is so far is finding his rhythm to be more aggressive. Yes, sir, Ryan. You already know my guy. Kelly Ubre is going to be one of those players who is a factor here in this game. But hey, Ryan, appreciate you for coming through and tuning in, my guy. Hit the like button if you haven't done so, Ryan. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. This is Sixers got to keep up this momentum. You already know, MC. Let's go. Just thank you to Ryan. Let's start Sixers. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Let's go. W shirt. Hey, man. The Phillies got the win today, so you already know I had to go ahead and support them real quick. You already know I had to go ahead and do it. Let me just change this scoreboard real quick. Even though it's not the end of the first quarter, we'll change it anyway as the game is back on. Not tell who has the ball right now, but Jordan Nawara now with the ball here for the Raptors. And we're going to find Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent Jr. going to drive and rejected and sent to the no man's land by B Ball Poe, who comes through and blocks the shot of Garrett Temple. So get that out of here, buddy. And here we go. The inbound pass is in to Garrett Temple. And Garrett Temple cannot put it in. But it's gonna stay, looks like with looks like it's gonna stay with Toronto. Kobe Simmons, by the way, enters the game for Javon Freeman Liberty here for the Toronto Raptors. As Gary Trent Jr. drives with it, puts the shot up for two, can't get it to go. It'll be a shot clock violation, and we are going the other way. Great defense right there by the Sixers. I was big time right there when they needed it most. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball here for Philadelphia. Gets over to Paul Reed, back to Payne. Payne looking for options here. Payne going to find Buddy Heald. Heald going to get it over to Reed. Reed going to find Heald, trying to get it back to Reed, and that's taken away by Gary Trent Jr. In the hands of number eight here, Kobe Simmons puts it in off the assist from Gary Trent Jr. Here we go. Here's Oubre with the ball, trying to drive, spins, fades away, puts it up for two, can't get it to go. Oubre gets his own offensive rebound and puts it in. 
Jordan Awar just gifted it right out to Kelly Oubre and said, here's your early Christmas present. Here we go. Garrett Temple with the ball. Going to find Gary Trent Jr. Going to get it over to, looks like, Kobe Simmons. Let's get it over to Bruce Brown, who puts the shot up for two, but will be fouled in shooting motion here. And this is going to go against Cameron Payne. So this will send Bruce Brown in the charity stripe here to shoot two free throws. First one at the line here is no good for Bruce Brown. In terms of lineup changes here for both the 76ers and the Raptors, Grady for the Toronto Raptors will enter the game to replace Gary Trent Jr. And Def Jowton, and Def Jowton Jr. and Kyle Lowry will both enter the game to replace Kelly Oubre and Cameron Payne. Second one on the line for Bruce Brown is good. So one of two from the free from the charity stripe here is Bruce Brown. And now Jeff Downton Jr. will take the ball and bring it down the floor. Going to get it over to Nico Batum. Batum going to hand it off to Lowry, the former Toronto Raptor. Lowry going to find Buddy Heald. Heald coming on the inside. Kicking it out to Lowry. Lowry pump faking. Lowry going to launch a three. And it is cash money for Kyle Lowry. Cash me in and cash me out, please. Big time right there. Garrett Temple to inbound. Finds Kobe Simmons. Sin is going to get out there to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown trying to find a man, finds Garrett Temple. Temple going to launch it out to Jordan Awar, who launches a three here for the Raptors. Can't get the fall, but it'll be rebounded here by Bruce Brown, who puts it back for two more points here for Toronto, but it is still a 12-point game in favoring the Philadelphia 76ers. Mm -hmm. Lowry dancing with the ball, now getting double team for the moment. Gets it out to Reed. Reed at the left corner, gets out to Downton in the right corner, going to find Heald. Heald at the corner for three, swirls the iron, misses it, and be rebounded here by the Raptors for the moment, but Downton takes it away. Down oops it up to Batum, and Batum puts it in on the alley from Jeff Downton Jr. Big time play right there from the Sixers, and a well-executed play on top of the rest. Here we go. Noir going to find Grady. Grady going to launch a three, and it is good for Grady. If you guys know, I will not say Grady's last name. I'm not saying it. Because <laughs> I, I know you guys see what it is. As Batum with the, or rather Buddy Heald with the ball, I should say, is going to get out there to Jeff Down Jr. Down going to launch it out to Kyle Lowry. Lowry going to get it over to Bruce Brown, guarded by Grady. Or not Bruce Brown, Buddy Heald. Heald going to kick it out to Batum at the corner for three, and Batum hits it. Nico Batum from the left corner gets it to fall. And Nico Batum off to a nice start here for the 76ers. Kobe Simmons with the ball. Going to get it over to Garrett Temple, who tries to get it out there to, to the intended man, but could not do so as the ball will go out of bounds and it will stay with the Raptors. In the meantime, though, former Philadelphia 76er Jalen McDaniels will enter the game to replace Bruce Brown here. And that is the only line change that we have for you guys as of right now coming out of these replays here. Inbound passes in. Kobe Simmons with the ball. Simmons guarded by Paul Reed. Simmons dancing. Simmons going to drive. Simmons going to light up over, but Toom can't get it. And it'll be rebounded here by Paul Reed. And here come the Sixers as down with the ball, trying to get out the body here, and we're going to go the other way with it. As Def Jeff Down tried to go out and fire a dart. Out to the intent. Up to his intended player, but could not find it. Because it'll be a turnover here for the 76ers. Simmons with the ball here for the Raptors. Going to get it over to Jalen McDaniels. Going to find Grady. Grady going to flip back to McDaniels. McDaniels trying to flip it out to the intended man in the corner, Garrett Temple. They will not be able to connect on the play as it will be. Toronto Raptors basketball still with seven seconds on the shot clock and just under 53 seconds remaining. 52.9 to be exact. Has to be inbounded. The inbound is into Grady for two and hits it. Grady with the big time shot off the Kobe Simmons assist. Here we go. Jeff Down Jr. with the ball. Down going to drive. Down going to try to lay it up for two. Won't get it to fall. 
But an offensive foul called against Jeff Doughton Jr. And we will go the opposite way. And the Raptors with a chance to inch closer and close the 76ers lead right now. Or otherwise, the Raptors deficit to the 76ers, which is now sitting at 12. Here we go. Kobe Simmons with the ball. Simmons going to drive. Simmons going to kick it out to McDaniels. McDaniels going to drive. Going to lay it up for two. Can't get it to fall on the former Philadelphia 76er. Jalen McDaniels will be fouled on the play here by Paul Reed. And Jalen McDaniels will head to the cherry stripe here to shoot two free throws. And we'll have an opportunity to make this a 10-point game. And this has put the Raptors into the bonus right now with an opportunity to get only down by 10 points. First one at the line here for Jalen McDaniels is good. Let's keep the top six as you already know it is MC. My guy, easy control is down. What's going on, my guy? Appreciate you coming through. Says, is Tyrese Maxey out tonight? Unfortunately, my guy, Tyrese Maxey is out tonight with a hip injury, but it should not be too serious, though, as they did not go ahead and give a stat saying that he'll be out for a specific amount of time. But the free throws are good here for Jalen McDaniels, as he does make both. And now Jeff Down Jr. here with the ball. Coming around a Kyle Lowry screen, now dancing with it. Jeff Down Jr. going back to the right. Down dancing. Down going to drive. Spin. Fading away as Jeff Down Jr. for two. Can't get the ball. And Paul Reed cannot rebound it. And we picked up here by Jordan Nawaro. Drives, lays it up, and lays it in with nine tenths of a second remaining. Kyle Lowry is trying to look for man. Darts it out there to heal. And he'll be held back by Jordan Nawar for an opportunity at a three-pointer. And that will be how the first quarter here comes to a close. Between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Toronto Raptors. The Philadelphia 76ers maintaining a lead here over the Toronto Raptors on the road with a score of 35-27 to in favoring the away team as we head on to quarter number two. So, yeah, guys, overall, I th I honestly think it was a – that's a solid start for the 76ers right now. So, I really do think it is a solid start for the team. But, hey, easy control is down, my guy. Appreciate you for coming through and supporting my guy. Hit the like button if you haven't done so. Easy control is down. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. I hope your day is going well as you hopefully are having a happy Easter. Also, shout out to Key in the building for coming through. What's going on, Key? Appreciate you for coming through and tuning in. Hit the like button if you have not done so, Key. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. And hopefully you're having a blessed day and a happy Easter. Yeah, shout out to everyone that's coming through, ladies and gents. Hopefully you guys are having a really good day today. And a blessed Easter. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Starting out your week with a BOSG play-by-play -play in the evening. Finally, not a late game for once. Not 10 o'clock, finally. But a really nice start here, though, for the 76ers. And I don't know why I put 35 to 22. It's 35 to 27. What am I doing, man? 35 to 27, 35 to 22. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Sorry, guys. I went ahead and messed up the scoreboard here. Go Oubre out to a nice start here with 10 quick points in the starting five. You got others trying to contribute, but who's the one player that's not hasn't contributed to the team so far that has stepped in the game? That's right, Tobias Harris. As the second quarter gets underway here, we have Ubre driving the basket, puts it up in the paint for two, swirls the iron, misses it, and Tobias Harris still cannot grab a rebound to save his life. 
They're going to be rebounding here by the Raptors. Kobe Simmons with the ball. Going to get it over to Grady. Grady going to drive. Grady trying to kick it out as he gets surrounded, but finds a man as Jordan Nawara with the ball. Puts it up for three. Can't get away with the shot. Going to be rebounded here by K.J. Martin in the hands of Cameron Payne over to Tobias Harris. Harris with the ball. Going to get it over to Heal. Out to Martin, who's going to find Payne. Payne going to his left. Payne going to dart over to Tobias. Tobias backing in. Tobias surrounded for dear life. Kicking out to Payne. Payne dancing. Payne pump faking. Launching a three now. Hits it. Cameron Payne with a big time shot here. And a massive three here to start off the second quarter here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Kobe Simmons with the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Going to find Jordan Nawara. Nawara going to drive in a finger roll it up and going to lay it in is Jordan Nawara. Here we go, Cameron Payne with the ball, going to find Oubre, who pump fakes, kicks out the heel, launching a three, and back-to-back -back threes here for your Philadelphia 76ers as they bring that lead up to 12 here over the Toronto Raptors to start off the second quarter. Garrett Temple with the ball, going to find his man, Grady. Grady coming on the inside, going to kick it out to, this is Jordan Nawar. Nawar going to drive, going to flip it out. To, I do believe that was Kobe Simmons for three, and he could not hit the shot. He'll be rebounding here by the... 76ers as Ubre finds healed out to Martin, out to Harris at the at the corner for three. Can't hit it. Rebounding here by the Raptors. Kobe Simmons is going to bring it down the floor. Going to find Garrett Temple. Garrett Temple going to cut him through, and he's going to lay it in just like so. Bada bing, bada boom. Here for Garrett Temple. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball. Going to find Ubre. Ubre going to try to put it up for two, but gets denied going up to the rim here by Jordan Nawara. KJ Martin trying to put it back for two. He got the offensive rebound, but could not do so. And it will be Garrett Temple coming away with the defensive rebound. Out to Grady for three. Hits off the back of the rim. Misses it. Be rebounded here by the Sixers. And he tries to dump it off to Ubre. Ubre cannot throw it down. But a foul will be called here against Garrett Temple. And you already know Kelly Ubre is going to go to the line. Hopefully he is able to get up. Because he took a really hard fall. But at least you have a dude that is Garrett Temple going over to help him out. You got Kyle Lowry helping him out too. Shout out to Kyle Lowry, man. Shout out to Garrett Temple, though, for showing respect and helping him up. Now, what he did was wrong at the end of the day. Yeah, he actually smacked the crap out of uh, Kelly Oubre right here. He actually smacked him. Oh, man. That'll be all, that leg will be all black and blue by tomorrow. They're probably going to look at this for a flagrant here on Garrett Temple. Garrett Temple for the moment is called for a shooting foul just for the moment. But I really don't think it's going to stay that way. So, I mean, it looked like he did try to go ahead and hit Kelly Oubre. So I think it's going to be brought up to a flagrant one here for Garrett Temple. Charles Adderley, what's going on, my guy? Appreciate you for coming through. Says, let's go fill it up, you 76ers. Yes, sir, Charles, you already know what it is, my guy. Happy Easter to you, my good sir. Appreciate you for coming through and tuning in. Hit the like button if you have not done so, Charles. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. Just keep your foot on the gas. Sixers, yes, sir, man. You already know. This is like, share, and subscribe for each person who experienced the BLC Sports Channel. Yes, sir. You already know, man. Let's get it. What did they call here? Looks like they're just keeping a, a common foul here on Garrett Temple, and they're not going to change it. So it'll be two free throws coming here for Kelly Oubre. But uh, Garrett Temple showing respect, though, to Kelly Oubre. That's, that's love right there. That's all love at the end of the day. Kelly Oubre so far this season has averaged 
nearly 15 points per game and nearly five rebounds per game as the first shot comes up short here for Kelly Oubre here from the charity stripe. Hey, man, Garrett Temple, man, shout out to you, my guy. Garrett Temple might be my favorite current Raptor just for showing support to his guys. Now, actually caring about what he did to Kelly Oubre. <clears throat> As the second month of the line is good here for Kelly Oubre. And the 76ers off to a rough start in terms of the free throws here. As they are one for three to start this game here for the free throw line. The only make being put up by Kelly Oubre. As Kobe Simmons with the ball. Going to get it over to Garrett Temple. Going to find Jordan Nawara. Nawara going to come through. Going to lay it up for two. Can't get away with it. And the rebound will be picked up by Tobias Harris. He's double teamed for the moment. He gets out of there though. And Tobias Harris will go. Harris with the ball. It says, Jordan Nawar, get off of me. Harris trying to run the offense now. Harris going to find Cameron Payne. Payne dancing. Payne going to dump it off to Martin. Martin going to pick it up after losing the ball. Got it back against Grady. Puts the shot up and puts it in. Big time play right there from K.J. Martin to get his night started. Garrett Temple with the ball. Going to find Jalen McDaniels, the former 76er. McDaniel is going to dump it off here to Simmons. Out to Garrett Temple. Out to Jordan Nawara. Nawara flipping it out to Simmons. Out to McDaniels launching a three. Shortens the shot here. Misses off the iron off the window. It'll be rebounding here by the Sixers. Ubre with the ball. Gets out to heel back to Ubre over to Martin. Martin going to find Ubre who will launch a three pointer. Bounces off the iron, misses it, and it'll be rebounded by the Raptors. Here comes Toronto. Is Garrett Temple going to find. Jalen McDaniels out to Jordan Award for three. Cannot hit it. We rebound here by Kelly Oubre into the hands of Cameron Payne. We'll find Harris. Harris will lay it up for two. Can't get it to fall. And it'll be a foul called here against Garrett Temple. And Tobias Harris went to the free throw line here to shoot two free throws. First one on the line here for Tobias Harris is good. In terms of lineup changes here for the Toronto Raptors and the Philadelphia 76ers, Bruce Brown, Gary Trent Jr., and Kelly Olenek will all enter the game to replace Kobe Simmons, Garrett Temple, and Grady. And then Kyle Lowry will enter the game to replace Buddy Heald here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Tobias Harris will go ahead and attempt the second free throw here for Philly, which he does make it. So. Tobias Harris, first couple points are from the free throw line here, but hey, better to get on the board now than never. But here we go. Bruce Brown losing the ball is poked away by Uber, and Uber comes away with it and throws down a thunderous throw down at the rim and puts in two points for the jam. Big time right here for Philadelphia. Is Gary Trent Jr. with the ball going to get over to Bruce Brown, who will find Kelly Olenek. Olenek going to dart it over to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown out to Jalen McDaniels. McDaniels going to drive and lay it up and lay it in off the window. Where was our defense, boys? That was probably on Tobias Harris for the sake of the defense. As Cameron Payne with the ball, going to find Jalen McDaniels, going to get it over to Harris. Harris battling against Jordan Nawara. Harris still dancing, going to launch it up from 16 feet, and he puts it in. Tobias Harris from 16 feet out puts up a pull-up jump shot and puts it through the hole. Bruce Brown with the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Bruce Brown looking for options. Bruce Brown trapped for dear life by Tobias Harris. Finally finds Jordan Nawara who lays it up. Can't get the fall. Rebound a bite here by Cameron Payne. Payne going to launch it out to Lowry. Lowry pump faking. Kicking it out to Payne. Payne going to launch a three ball. Nearly air balls it, but it'll be picked up by Tobias. Tobias walking up the baseline. But having to do his balancing act. Harris looking, tracked for dear life, dumps out to Oubre. Oubre going to launch a three, wide open three for Oubre, misses it. And be rebounding here by the Raptors, specifically Jalen McDaniels, who will dump it off to Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent going to launch a long two, it looks like, can't get the fall. But Jordan Nawara will clean up the mess on aisle five and will get an opportunity for a three-point play as the foul will be called here against K.J. Martin.
In the meantime, though, we do have a timeout called here by Toronto Raptors head coach Darko Rehakovic, and that'll already be the third timeout that the Raptors have taken so far. But the Philadelphia 76ers, though, in the meantime, ladies and gents, have a 50-35 to 35 lead overall in this game. But in terms of in the second quarter, they are currently on a 15-8 to 8 scoring run here and look to end off this first half strong. So I hit my like button on the way into the live stream broadcast. This is powerful indeed. Hey, Charles, man, shout out to you, my guy. Shout out to you for doing what needs to be done. This is Charles, who's the best. Yes, sir, MC, appreciate the positivity. Is MC absolutely no cap? Be all the personality that is being revered, talked about on the YouTube social media platform. Yes, sir. Charles Iley, shout out to you for always showing positivity. Pretty much since day one, ever since you started watching my channel, I've been showing that positivity, my guy. Shout out to you. This is where never quit and quarters never win. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, continue to go ahead and share this out to Anywhere you have on social media, be sure to go ahead and share this out to any viewer that may be interested in this type of content. We only got seven likes right now. We we need more over here. And we need more than four people in the chat. So please be sure to go ahead and share this out to anywhere where you have social media and share this out with anyone that might be interested in this type of content. 6-12 remaining here in the second quarter. 76 was up by 15 over the Toronto Raptors with a score here of 50 to 35. As they showed the defensive play so far of the basically the entire first half, where Bruce Brown tried to get away with the rebound here, but it was picked up by Jeff Down Jr. and he alley ooped it up over to Nico Batum, and Nico Batum was able to put it in. Lineup changes here for the 76ers, none for the Raptors, by the way. Nico Batum and Mo Bamba will both enter the game to replace Kelly Oubre and KJ Martin. And Jordan Awara, by the way, will get an opportunity here for a three-point play after the foul called on K.J. Martin. And the free throw for Jordan Awara is good. So the Raptors still down 14 to the 76ers, but are slowly climbing their way up. But the 76ers look to not quit as Kyle Lowry with the ball here. Go to my Gary Trent. Going to find... Tobias Harris, who backs and fades away on the shot for two and hits it from eight feet out. Tobias Harris putting some work in the paint. What Tobias Harris is known for is fadeaway shot. He's known for that every time. Bruce Brown with the ball here for the Raptors. Going to get over to Jordan Nawara. Nawara looking for options here. Nawara going to bounce pass it over to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown going to launch it out towards Garrett Temple. Out to Gary Trent Jr. for three. Cannot hit the shot. Bamba keeps it in play, and so does Tobias Harris. Bamba picks it up in his hands, and it'll be picked up by Cameron Payne, who will have the ball. Payne with the ball, going to get it over to Tobias Harris. Harris going to lose the ball. The ball will roll out of bounds, and it will remain with the Sixers. Come on, let's go. Stay aggressive every single play. Let's go here. Also, lineup change here. Javon Freeman Liberty will enter the game here to replace Jordan Nawara. Cameron Payne here to inbound, launches it out there to Batum. Batum back, darts it out to Payne. Payne at the right corner for three, and Cameron Payne puts it in. And the 76ers nearly up by 20 over the Toronto Raptors. Jim McDaniels with the ball, going to find Kelly Olenek, and Kyle Lowry will take it away on the pass. Lowry comes through, dumps off to Harris, who gets over to Bombo, who throws it down. But it will be an offensive foul called here against Tobias Harris. So the Toronto Raptors will take over and will take possession of the basketball.
Here we go. The Raptors with the ball here. Jalen McDaniels with the ball. Going to fling it out to Olenek for three. And Kelly Olenek going to put it up and in from 25 feet out off the Jalen McDaniels assist. Cameron Payne with the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Going to find Tobias Harris. Harris with the ball. Backing in against Freeman Liberty. Going to kick it out to Payne. Out to Batum. Launching a three. And he's got it for three. Nico Batum puts it up and in. The former L.A. Clipper putting it up and in for three. And an impressive first half here for Nico Batum. And Bruce Brown will respond with a three here down the other end here for the Toronto Raptors. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball. Trying to space the floor. Trying to set up the offense here. Payne looking for options as he loses the ball. Gets it back. Gets it over to Tobias Harris. Harris looking for options here. Going to drive. Harris going to try to get it up for two. But Tobias Harris will be fouled in shooting motion here. And the foul will be called against Bruce Brown. And Tobias Harris will go to the charity stripe here to shoot two free throws. Revelin Champion, what's going on? Appreciate you for coming through. Says hello all. Happy Easter. Let's go Sixers. You already know what it is, Beverly. Appreciate you for coming through. Hit the like button if you have not done so, Beverly. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. And also, if you have not done so, Beverly, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you are new to this channel. Say, Bev, you joined nice. Is yeah, he's up. Yes, sir. Appreciate you for coming through. Beverly Champion, that must have been from my guy. Ease up controls down. Go ahead and share this out. So, shout out to my guy. Tobias Harris with the second free throw puts it up and puts it in. Grady, by the way, enters the game here to replace Jalen McDaniels. At, before Tobias Harris went ahead and made the second free throw. Freeman Liberty with the ball going to get over to Bruce Brown. Going to find Kelly Olenek. Olenek dancing, spinning for dear life. Going to kick it out to Gary Trent Jr. for three. And Gary Trent Jr. puts it in again. Oh, my gosh. So tell me this is going to be the cardiac kids again. As Kyle Lyra with the shot, cannot find the shot for three. It'll be rebounded here by the Raptors. As Gary Trent Jr. is going to drive, lay it up and lay it in on the floater working in the paint. And now the Sixers will take over, looking for an opportunity. As Payne with the ball here on the Scotiabank Arena logo. Going to go to his left, guarded by Gary Trent Jr. And he get it over to Tobias Harris. Harris going to dart over to Mo Bamba from the 15-foot spot. And Gary Trent strips it away from Mo Bamba. And Gary Trent lays it up and lays it in with ease. And a timeout finally called here by Nick Nurse to talk things over with his Philadelphia 76ers team. Coming back into Scotiabank Arena. And finally takes his first timeout since being away from this Toronto Raptors team. At least since October 28th. For the first time in 2024, though, Nick Nurse takes a timeout and is returned back to Toronto. But that'll finally be the first time out Nick Nurse has taken in this game overall. But we do still have a 10-point lead favoring the 76ers with three minutes remaining. So hopefully this 76ers team will go ahead and be able to close out this first half here with a solid lead to work with. So hopefully they will pull out this W. Nico Batum off to a nice start off the bench. Eight points and an assist. But especially in terms of the shooting, Nico Batum is off to a fantastic start. Hopefully you can keep it going. Same thing going towards Buddy Heald. Buddy Heald off to a nice start off the bench. Two of three from the field, and all those attempts have come from three-point range. Kyle Lowry also off to a nice start for him being 38 years old. Cameron Payne also another play off to a nice start. Four of six from the field, two of four from three-point range with 10 points in the starting five with a rebound and three assists to go with. Kelly Uber has been the main guy, though. 13 points, five rebounds, two assists, as well as a steal and a block each. Five of 12 from the field, 
two of four from three-point range and one of two from the free throw line. Tobias Harris, man, got to step it up here in the last three minutes, but especially going in towards the second half. You got to step up. Is Maxie not playing tonight? Bev, if you didn't know, but we all good. So don't remember. Boy, Maximilian is out. Is he? Is he hurt too? Yeah, unfortunately, Tyrese Maxey is out for the 76ers tonight in this one. So we will not get to see Tyrese Maxey play tonight. But they did not say that it was a serious injury for Tyrese Maxey. So probably look for him to play in the 76ers next matchup on Tuesday night when they take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Guys, continue to go ahead and share this out. Now you might let you know, ladies and gents, be sure to go ahead and share this out. Share this out. As Beverly's like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, it sucks that Maxi is not playing in this game tonight, but the game is back on. It's Oubre tries to put the shot up for two. Cannot get it to fall, but Kelly Oubre will head to the cherry stripe here to shoot two free throws. As the foul will be called here on... Javon Freeman Liberty. Kelly Oubre pretty much has pretty much done it all so far for the 76ers here in this first half as the first one is up and through the hole. Here for Kelly Oubre as the first one is good. Coming out of the time now, Kelly Oubre did enter the game, by the way, replaced Mo Bamba and Paul Reed did enter the game to replace Tobias Harris. And now after that first free throw, Buddy Heald enters the game here to replace Cameron Payne. As the second one at the line is also good here for Kelly Oubre as well. And I'm not sure what in the world we are debating about here. Like, what's the hold up on the game? What are they talking about here? Like, oh, never mind. I was about to say, what's the hold up? And apparently, we have uh, Javon Freeman Liberty here with a bloody nose. So, that was the hold up here on this game. Good reason for it. This can't touch this powerful stream broadcast. Limitate, imitate, but never duplicate. It's simply the best, better than the rest. BLC Sports Channel. Yes, sir. Shout out to my guy, Charles Zywing, man, for continuing to show the positivity up in here. Please like, share, invite, subscribe for each person to experience BLC Sports Channel. The leader in sports talk is Sir. Here we go. As the game resumes here, Olenek to inbound. Inbounds it now to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown bringing the ball down the floor. Bruce Brown going to find Kelly Olenek who pump fakes against Reed. Olenek going to lay it up for two. Cannot get it to fall. But a foul will be called here against Paul Reed. And will send Kelly Olenek to the floor. Charity strike here to shoot two free throws. And Paul Reed is frustrated. First one of the line here is good for Kelly Olinick. Not a single, not a singular Toronto Raptor is in double figures yet. I'm actually surprised that Gary Trent Jr. isn't in double figures yet either. As the second one at the line here is missed from Kelly Olenek, and the 76ers will rebound the basketball. And we'll bring it down the floor as Kyle Lowry gets it over to Kelly Oubre. Oubre with the ball going to drive against Grady, going to put the shot up for two, cannot get it to fall, and Grady comes away with the rebound. Grady going to find Freeman Liberty, going to kick it out to Gary Trent Jr. for three, shortens the shot, rebounded by Buddy Heal. We'll get it over to... But two mounts a heel launching a three, cannot hit it. Rebounded by Ubre. Ubre will put it back out there for Kyle Lowry. We'll find Batum. Batum out to heel in the corner for three and got it. Big time three right there from Buddy Heel when it mattered most for him. Big time three for Buddy Heel. Massive three. Freeman Liberty with the ball tonight. Get it over to Kelly Olenek, who will lose the ball thanks to. 
Nico Batum, but Batum was the last one to touch it, so it's going to stay here with Toronto. And the 76ers will take the ball away here from the Raptors off the inbound. Buddy Hill is going to blade up for two and lays it in. Great job by Buddy Heald there, driving into the paint, doing his job. As Cody Link with the ball, going to get it over to Grady for three. Cannot hit it. Be rebounding here by Buddy Heald, and he'll get it over to Kyle Lowry. Lowry with the ball, going to drive, going to oop it up to Reed. Reed could not find it originally, still can't find it. Fights for the offensive rebound, cannot get it as Grady comes away here with the defensive rebound here for Toronto. You fling it out to Gary Trent Jr. for three, and Gary Trent Jr.'s got it. Or not Gary Trent Jr., I'm fling out to Bruce Brown. Here we go. The 76 is looking to respond. Still a 13-point contest. But Buddy Heald with the ball. Going to get it over to Kyle Lowry. Back over to Heald. Heald going to fling it back out to Lowry. Lowry going to get over to Paul Reed. Reed going to lay it up off the window and putting it in his B-ball, Paul. Big time play right there for Paul Reed coming out the mud. And Gary Trent Jr. losing the ball, actually throwing it to absolutely nobody. And it will go to the way of the Philadelphia 76ers here with 33.2 seconds remaining here in the first half. Oubre with the ball, trying to put it up for two, and he'll lose the ball out of bounds. And the Toronto Raptors are going to get the ball right back. Olenek inbounding right now to Freeman Liberty. Freeman Liberty with the ball. Going to flip it back to Olenek at the top of the key. Go to by Reed. Olenek looking for options here. Going to find Bruce Brown. Going to launch a three here. It knocks it down, but it will not count as a foul will be called here against Paul Reed. But this will be a foul on the floor here, so no. Free throws coming here for... For Toronto, no free throws coming. And Paul Reed, by the way, will take a seat on the bench as K.J. Martin will sub in for him. Grady inbounds the ball. Gets it in here to Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent Jr. going to fade away on the shot for two and hits it. Gary Trent Jr. with a big-time play. Buddy Heald with the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Heald dancing. Flips out to Ubre. Ubre from distance and got it at the buzzer. Kelly Ubre with the big time shot. And Kelly Ubre with the buzzer beater here for the 76ers. As it looks to be that he did beat the horn and easily he did. He easily beats the horn and that will conclude the end of the first half here where the Philadelphia 76ers. We'll maintain a 16-point lead here over the Toronto Raptors here in Scotiabank Arena by a score of 71-55. to 55. As ladies and gents, on that note, we have approached halftime. Big-time run that the 76ers went on right there to close out this first half. So there you go, guys. There is your halftime score right there, just like so. Just feel free to express yourself. Fair and balanced discussion. Real straight talk only here on BLSG Sports Channel. Yes, sir. Let's go. Crank it up. Let's go. Philadelphia 76ers, absolutely. Winners never quit and quitters never win. You already know, my guy. John K., what's going on, my guy? I appreciate you for coming through. And I know you were given... An update on the score, my guy, throughout the game. But we provide it all for you here on BLSG. I will provide the score ahead of time and change it after every commercial break, just so you know. So you don't have to keep posting the score in the chat. But John K., man, appreciate you for coming through and tuning in, my guy. Hit the like button if you have not done so. John, appreciate you for coming through the stream. And since you're a new viewer, John, if you want more content like this as well, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you want more content like this, my guy.
Says Dang at the buzzer. Yup, at the buzzer, all right. Half time break, grab some snacks, drinks, time bathroom break. Yes, sir. Says facts, like, share, and might subscribe for each person to experience BLC Sports Channel. You already know. But on that note, ladies and gents, we're going to go ahead and go over the halftime stats here, and then we're going to go ahead and take the halftime break here like we always do here on the channel. So starting it off here on the Philadelphia 76ers side, Kelly Oubre leads the way here for the Philadelphia 76ers at the end of the first half with 18 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, as well as a steal and a block each. Following it up off the bench here is Buddy Heald who finishes up the first half with 11 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists. Cameron Payne following it up in the starting five with a performance of 10 points, a rebound, and 2 assists. Nico Batum following it up off the bench with 8 points, a rebound, 2 assists, and a steal. Tobias Harris following it up in the starting five with 8 points and 5 rebounds, as well as a block. Kyle Lowry following it up with 6 points and 5 assists, as well as a steal. Paul Reed with six points and a rebound as well as a block off the bench. Mo Bamba with two points and three rebounds as well as a steal in the starting five. And then rounding it up off the bench here for the Philadelphia 76ers is forward K.J. Martin, who finishes up the first half with two points and three rebounds. To end off the first half stats here for your Philadelphia 76ers. Now over to the Toronto Raptors side now. As it looks to me like Bruce Brown so far has led the way to so far for the Toronto Raptors at the end of the first half. Leading the way with 11 points, 3 rebounds, as well as 2 assists and 2 steals. And following it up here for the Toronto Raptors is Gary Trent Jr. He follows that up with a first half performance of 11 points, 2 assists, as well as a steal and a block each. Following it up is Kelly Olenek in the starting five. Finishing up the first half with eight points, a rebound, and four assists, as well as a block. Jordan Nwora off the bench, finishing up the first half with seven points, two rebounds, and an assist, as well as a block. Then going back up to the starting five, where Javon Freeman Liberty ends off the first half with five points and six rebounds. Grady following it up with five points, a rebound, and an assist each. Jalen McDaniels, the former Philadelphia 76 are following it up with four points, two rebounds, and an assist. Garrett Temple following it up with two points and two rebounds off the bench. And then rounding it off here for the Toronto Raptors here at the end of the first half is Kobe Simmons. Do you believe that's his name? Kobe Simmons, yep. Kobe Simmons going to wrap it up here for the Toronto Raptors here for the first half stats. By ending off the first half with two points, a rebound, and two assists to end off the first half stats here for the Toronto Raptors. Now over to the team stats now as the Philadelphia 76ers are currently shooting the ball 54.2% from the field to the Toronto Raptors 47.7%. The Philadelphia 76ers are currently shooting the ball 54.5% from three-point range to the Toronto Raptors 33.3%. Both teams are shooting an equivalent 77.8% from the free throw line, as both teams are shooting the ball 7 of 9 from the free throw line as well. The Philadelphia 76ers are currently out rebounding the Toronto Raptors at the end of the first half, 24 to 18, and same on the offensive side of the ball, 6 to 3. In terms of assists, goes in favor of the Philadelphia 76ers over the Toronto Raptors, 15 to 13. Steals goes in favor of the 76ers, 4 to 3 as well as blocks 3-2, favoring the 76ers. The 76ers currently winning the turnover battle here over the Toronto Raptors 9-6. Both teams have an equal amount of points in the paint with 24 points of paint apiece here for both sides. And then 18 combined first personal fouls here in the first half combined, with 10 being called on the Philadelphia 76ers and only 8 being called here on the Toronto Raptors. And ladies and gents, on that note, that is how the first half stats here <clears throat> will come to a close. Where the Philadelphia 76ers are coming up by 16 over the Toronto Raptors with a score of 71 to 55. And look to keep up this momentum here going into the second half. I do believe I got to those comments already. It says, you are valued indeed. Thanks for your outstanding contribution on the live stream broadcast thus far. Yes, sir. Shout out to everyone that's up in here, ladies and gents. Appreciate all you guys for coming through. 
It's his first half domination. Let's go Sixers. Yes, sir. You already know what it is. But on that note, ladies and gents, we're going to go ahead and take the halftime break here like we always do. A good majority of you should know how this works, ladies and gents. But for those of you that do not know how this works, ladies and gentlemen, very simple as so. It's way simpler than you think. Go get a snack. Go get a drink. Go to the bathroom. Do whatever you guys need to do. In order to get ready for the second half of this game between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Toronto Raptors here in this Eastern Conference battle. And ladies and gents, on that note, I will see you all back here for the second half.
All right, guys, I am officially back here, ready to go for the second half of this game. This is the 76ers need this win today, you already know. The first half Sixers keep it up in the second half, yes, sir, you already know. As we welcome you guys back here to the second half between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Toronto Raptors, as the Philadelphia 76ers are up on the Toronto Raptors right now, 71-55 to as the second half is officially underway. Kyle Lowry with the ball, going to fling out to Tobias Harris, out to Kelly Oubre. Oubre faked the reverse layup out to Payne, but we do unfortunately have a travel here to start the second half here for the 76ers. So not a great start here for Philadelphia to begin the second half, but better to do it now than later. As Cameron Payne, Tobias Harris, Mo Bamba entered the game to Boys KJ Morton, Nico Tim, and Buddy Hill to start off the second half. And Grady trying to lay it up here for the Toronto Raptors. Will fail to do so, but will be fouled here in shooting motion here against Kyle Lowry. Might as well call this man Coach Lowry as he's showing his hand motions to the officials right now. First one line here for Grady is no good. Seventy sixers look to continue dominating here in the second half. So the line is also good here for Grady. Or rather, the second one on the line is good for Grady after he misses the first one. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball here for the Sixers. We get it over to Kyle Lowry who flings out to Uber. Gonna find Bamba as Gary Trent Jr. is on the ground right now in pain. And he will not get up. In the meantime, though, we do have a shooting foul. Called on Bruce Brown. So Mo Bamba will head to the charity stripe here as he did get fouled in shooting motion. Gary Trent, though, slow to get up off the floor. He does seem to be okay, but he's grabbing that left knee. Probably trying to shake off some pain a little bit if he can. And I have no idea what happened to this man, but apparently he just ran into Mo Bamba. Must have pulled something in his left knee. As the first one on the line here is good for Mobamba. Hopefully everything is okay here with Gary Trent Jr. Would hate to see a player go down, just any player overall in general. I will never wish injury on a player by any means guaranteed. Never will do it. Second one on the line for Mobamba is good, and will give the 76ers a 17-point lead here over the Toronto Raptors to start the second half. And Grady with the ball, shooting the ball, puts it up for three, will not get it to go, but he will be fouled though on the play by Mo, by uh, Kyle Lowry, actually, and Grady will step to the line here to shoot three. First one on the line here is good for Grady. Because honestly, Rasheed, Rasheed Rice very well might be suspended from the NFL because of what because what he did was pathetic, absolutely wrong, no clue what he was thinking. Yeah, it might have been on like drugs or something like that. But again, I didn't hear too much about that to confirm what was going on. As all three free throws are good, the line here for Grady. The 76ers look to rebound and respond. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball. Gonna get over to Kyle Lowry. Lowry going to find Kelly Oubre. Oubre dancing with it. Oubre looking for options. Oubre going to launch a three from the top of the key, and he gets it to fall. Big time three-pointer right there from Kelly Oubre when the 76ers need it most. Gary Trent Jr. going to launch a three looking for a revenge tour, and Gary Trent Jr. gets it to go from three-point range and gets it to fall. Coming off what looked to be a very severe injury, comes back and bounces back with some true authority. Here we go. Terrace with the ball. Going to kick it out to Lowry in the corner for three. Bounces off the right side of the iron and misses it. And it'll be rebounded here by the Raptors. Here's Trent Jr. with the ball. Going to find Bruce Brown. Back out to Trent. Trent going to come inside. Going to flip the ball up for two and gets it to go. Gary Trent Jr. Coming through and finding opportunity wherever he can get them. As Payne with the ball. Going to find Tobias Terrace. 
There's the ball looking for options. Finds Bamba. Bamba launching a three from the corner. Cannot get it. Rebounded by Lowry. Lowry with the ball at 38. Getting offensive rebounds. Finds Oubre for three. And Oubre puts it up and through the hole. Another big time shot here from Kelly Oubre Jr. And Kelly Oubre is coming out shooting like crazy right now to start the second half. A massive bounce back night from last game. Grady with the ball. Loses the ball to be picked up by Oubre. Uber going to take the ball with him down the floor. Going to find Cameron Payne. Payne going to drive with it. Trying to find Bamba, but cannot. As it be picked up here by Freeman Liberty. Liberty lost the ball, but I think they're going to say there's going to be a foul called here against Philadelphia. And I think they're going to call against Tobias Harris. I think. Or rather, they're going to call this a foul against Mo Bamba. What they call here? Hold up. In my past, Zinia from Freeman Liberty to inbounds it to Olenek. Olenek going to find Grave, going to put it up for two. Gets fouled in shooting motion, and now we'll head to the cherry stripe, as now the foul will be called on Mo Bamba. So there must have been a foul on the floor like twice in a row here for the Raptors. First one of the line for Grady is good. Second one of the line for Grady comes up short and it'll be short of the short of the hole and it'll be rebounded by the Sixers. Here comes Cameron Payne bring it down the floor. Gonna find Bomba at the top of the key. Gonna get over to Uber. Uber at the top of the key. Four three. And Kelly Uber is unstoppable. Kelly Uber coming out on the vengeance tour after we looked last game. What has gotten into this man? As Olympic tries to drive, gets it with the reverse layup against Mo Bamba, and he'll get it for two. Kelly Olenek coming through looking to keep the Raptors in this game, but the 76 is looking to run away with it. Ubre with the ball now. Bring it down the other end. Ubre dancing with it. Ubre launching a three. Will not get it to go, but we will have a foul call here on Gary Trent Jr. That will send Kelly Ubre to the cherry striker to shoot two free throws and give the 76ers an opportunity here to go up by 18 points. Let's go. Let's go. Kelly Uber has looked unstoppable tonight. He looked unguardable at this point. First one of the line is good for Kelly Uber. Let's go. So proud of this guy. Bouncing back when he knows he needs to. I love it. I love it. Bouncing back when he needs to. He's already got 28. Second one at the line is good here as well for Kelly Oubre Jr. So let's get this ease of control down. This is to his number zero from Toronto. That is Javon Freeman Liberty, number zero for the Toronto Raptors. I know a lot of a lot of randoms are in this game, Ryan Grant, that you usually do not hear of. So that if you're gonna ask these questions, then I completely understand because there are a lot of randoms in this game. As Kelly Uber was able to make all three free throws at the line, here we go. Freeman Liberty with the ball, dancing. And again, over to Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent looking for options, standing on the Raptors logo. Trent coming around the screen, finding Freeman Liberty, getting it out of Bruce Brown, punching a three, hits the rim, rebounded by Olenek. Olenek is going to be called for the... That's right, ladies and gents. What is it? Travel. And you can't do that. Party Mom Mambo dance to start off the second half. As Cameron Payne with the ball, driving, floating it up for two, comes up short, rebounded by Gary Trent Jr. And bring it down the other way is Gary Trent. Trent driving, bring it up for two, comes up short with it. The ball will go out of bounds. And then we'll stay with Toronto with 749 remaining here in the third.
Javon Freeman, Liberty, to go ahead and inbound here for the Raptors. And we guarded by Cameron Payne here on the inbound. Freeman, Liberty, inbounds now to Gary Trent at the last moment. Trey, the step back three gets blocked by Bamba. Olenek comes back with it, gets the rebound, puts it in for two. But it looks like they're not going to count it as Olenek gets called for a delay of game violation, and it will go with Philadelphia as Lowry with the ball going to get it over to Oubre. Oubre right here by Jordan Nawara. Oubre going to flip it out to Lowry. Lowry dancing. Flip it out to Oubre. Launching a three from the right wing. Swirls the iron. Misses it like crazy. I'll be rebounded by the Raptors. Bruce Brown going to flip it out to Jordan Nawara for three and hits it. Jordan Nawara coming back and putting a shot up for three. And a timeout called by Nick Nurse. And just his second timeout taken of this game. And his first timeout, by the way, taken of the second half. So despite being up 13 points here for the Philadelphia 76ers, Nick Nurse says, I'm not fully satisfied. I'm taking a timeout, and I'm talking to my guys. That's one heck of a coach right there. That's why he's one of the best coaches in the NBA still as of this point. Currently in the NBA, Nick Nurse is one of the best coaches in the NBA currently right now. It sound, sounds like it took a long road trip in that call. Exactly. It says, OMG, Bumba is awake. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Bumba. But we're about to make a song about, about Mo Bumba. And, and he's up control down, can, can be the star producer. And probably, make a, probably make a rap song about... uh. Mo Bamba and how much he's a bum. <laughs> four points, four rebounds, and assists, as well as a steal and a block each for Mo Bamba so far. Whereas my guy Isam controls down. Let's call him Mo Bamba. Let's <laughs> keep your phone on the gas fixers. Yes, sir, you already know. But Isam controls down. I'm going to tell you one thing, my guy. As soon as Joel Embiid gets running back in, the, in games again at full strength when he's not on miss restrictions, because I'll guarantee you. He will be on a miss restriction coming out of whenever he comes back, which will hopefully be Tuesday, but I don't want to push it for Joel Embiid. But when Joel Embiid does come back, you're barely going to see Mo Bumba on the floor, for your sake, for your sanity. Please like, share, and hit subscribe for each person to experience Bill Sports Channel as he sits the standards in the live stream broadcast. Yes, sir, let's go. But Kelly Oubre has been absolutely unstoppable. 30 points for Kelly Oubre, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. This man has been absolutely electric both offensively and defensively. I don't want to hear it otherwise. I don't want to hear it otherwise. But he has been doing this thing off the bench. Nico Batum just doing Nico Batum type things. But he... Or uh, not Big Hill. Um, Paul Reed doing doing solid so far. He needs to pick up more rebounds, though. That's the one thing I need to see from Paul Reed is that he needs to be picking up more rebounds. But those are all mainly getting taken away because of Mo Bamba. Even though Mo Bamba's only got four rebounds, and Paul Reed's only got one. This is the seventy six who need this win tonight. You already know. Feel free to express yourself. Fair and balanced discussion here on BLC Sports Channel. Yes, sir. As the game is back on here, Batum with the ball. I'm going to get over to Oubre. Going to find Kyle Lowry. Lowry guarded here by Freeman Liberty. Lowry going to fade away the shot for two and hits it. Kyle Lowry. Oh, my goodness. Big time shot right there from Kyle Lowry. Bruce Brown with the ball here. Gets over to Jordan DeWar. Going to find Kelly Olenek. Olenek going to bounce pass it here to Bruce Brown and put it up and puts it in. Tough bucket right there by Bruce Brown. Here we go, Kyle Lowry with the ball. We'll get over to Buddy Heel. Going to find Batum. Batum back to Heel. And you get it over to Kyle Lowry. Back to Heel. Heel's going to drive. Heel's going to look for Reed. Reed. Going to find Kyle Lowry. Going to flip it back to Reed. Reed going to work in the paint. Going to 
Bank it up off the window for two. Will not get to go, but Batum coming through and putting it back on the offensive rebound. Give this guy 10 points off the bench, baby. Freeman Liberty going to play it up for three. Cannot hit it. Rebounded by Batum. In the hands of Oubre. Hold on. Oubre going to find Paul Reed. Reed going to find Heald. You're going to dart it over to Oubre. Oubre going to find Heald. You're going to flip down to Batum. Out to Lowry. Lowry back to Heald. Heald going to drive. You're going to lay it up and lay it in. Buddy Heald with a big time shot and a big time layup here for the Sixers. As the Sixers are up 17, less than five and a half remaining here in the third. Olenek with the ball dancing. Olenek with the ball. Going to get over to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown going to put the shot up for two and puts it in. Here we go. Uber with the ball, going to lose it as it will be picked up by Olenek. Olenek loses the ball, but it looks like we have a foul called here against Paul Reed. And for Paul Reed's sake, off the bench, that is going to be his third. So that will unfortunately be Paul Reed's third foul of the game. Here we go, Gary Trent Jr. with the ball here. Gary Trent Jr. spinning, putting the shot up for two, cannot get the fall. Noir can't do so either as he gets blocked and sent to solitary confinement. And here comes six as they bring it down the floor. Body heel with the ball and get over to Kyle Lowry. Lowry looking for options, going to find Paul Reed. Reed guarding by Freeman Liberty. Reed going to drop, send Freeman Liberty packing. And Freeman Liberty is going to be called for a blocking foul. And the 76ers will inbound here. Kyle Lowry to inbound. Inbounds it to Reed. Back over to Lowry. Gets it over to Uber. Uber losing balance here. The foul will be called against Toronto. Looks like it's going to be on Bruce Brown because he's staring down the ref like crazy. And yes, it will be a personal foul called here against Bruce Brown after the foul called on Javon Freeman, Freeman Liberty. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Inbounds to Reed back to Lowry. Lowry at the logo now drives. Lowry darts it over to Reed. Reed trying to find somebody. Finds Heal just in the nick of time. Heal back to Reed for three. Cannot find it. It'll be rebound here by Olenek. Olenek with the ball going to drive. Olenek trying to find a man. Find Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown flings it out there to Jordan Nwora. Nwora going to drive, going to put it up for two and puts it in. Jordan Nwora from six feet out floats it up and puts it in for two through the hole. Here we go. Kelly Oubre with the ball here for the Sixers. Oubre dancing. Finds... Finds Buddy Heald. He's going to drive now. Heald, looking for an option, has that tip and taken away by Davon Freeman Liberty. Liberty going to find Bruce Brown out to Kelly Olenek. Olenek back to Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown going to launch a three, and it's cash money for Bruce Brown. Here we go. Kyle Lowry with the ball. I'm going to get over to Batum. going to find Reed. Reed guarded by Olenek all day long for dear life. It's out there to Kyle Lowry. Lowry going to oop it up to Paul Reed, and he'll throw it down with two grown man hands for the thunderous throw down here. And a massive play where it matters most. We have a timeout called here by Darko Rehakovic here for the Toronto Raptors. With the 76ers now up by 12 with the alley-oop executed perfectly to perfection from Kyle Lowry to B-ball Paul with just outside three minutes remaining here in the third quarter. That is big time. That is freaking big time. Let's go. Let's go, guys. That is big time right there. That's exactly what we needed.
says can't touch this powerful stream broadcast. And it's never can't be duplicated. Those two sports channel, the Logan Sports Talk. Yes, sir. As a number of family united for standing tall against all odds, BLC Sports Channel. Yes, sir. But a massive play right there on the alley oop here from Kyle Lowry to B ball Paul. That was big time. Shout out to the seven people still tuning in the chat. Shout out to all you guys for coming through and tuning in here on this. Evening of Easter Sunday. Hit the like button if you're not done. So, ladies and gents, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And, guys, continue to share the stream so we can bring more viewers into the chat. TP1, what's going on, my guy? Preacher for coming through says what happened to Maxi. And don't forget the dreaded fourth quarter. Oh, I'm not forgetting about the dreaded fourth quarter, TP1. Don't you worry. And if you're asking what happened to um, Tyrese Maxi, he was listed as out here for the Philadelphia 76ers with, I do believe, a hip injury. I do believe I did say a hip injury earlier for Tyrese Maxey. I guess Tyrese Maxey is out with a hip injury and is not able to play in this in this game against the Toronto Raptors, according to Blake Murphy of Sportsnet.ca, who was the first one to report it. So Tyrese Maxey is not able to play tonight, but they did not say how long he would out, out for, which is why I would think this injury is not too serious because otherwise we would have heard something, something a little extra on how long Maxey would be out for. So expect him to probably be back by next game, probably just another day of rest, if you know what I'm saying. Well, TP1, appreciate you coming through and tuning in, my guy. Hit the like button if you're not done so, TP1. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. And don't don't worry, TP1. I did not forget about the dreaded fourth quarter. Don't you worry. I did not forget about it. But hopefully it's not the case where we're having to deal with the dreaded fourth quarter. At least I hope we're not having to deal with that. Yeah, Kelly Olenek trying to get the ball wiped off. Are you kidding me? What are we complaining about the ball for? What's wrong with the ball? Is it slippery or what? Like, what's the problem here? As the Toronto Raptors will have the best of the basketball, as with outside three minutes remaining here, the game continues. As Freeman Liberty with the ball, guarded by Buddy Hill, can get over to Kelly Olenek. Olenek dancing around, looking for an option, trying to find an option. Kicks it out there to Jordan Nawara, who launches a three, and it's cash money for Jordan Nawara. Jordan Nawara with another nice shot off the bench, and he has been explosive for this team. 15 points off the bench tonight for Jordan Nawara, and he has really improved his game since his rookie year. Cameron Payne with the ball here for the 76. We're going to find Tobias Harris. Harris pump faking now launches a mid-range jumper over Olenek and he gets it to go. Thank you, Tobias Harris. Thank you. And Grady gonna find his way to the cup and throws it down through the hole. And the 76 is getting a little sloppy here on defense. Come on, wake up here. That's Buddy here with the ball gonna. Bounce pass it over to Paul Reed. Reed trapped by Kelly Olenek for dear life. Can get it back to Heald. Heald looking for an option. Heald kicks it out to Payne. Payne going to drive. Payne going to finger roll it up for two. Cannot get it to go. There are like three Raptors around Paul Reed, and the Raptors come away with the defensive rebound. Freeman Liberty going to lay it up off the window for two, and he puts it in and makes it a seven-point game. So back to single digits we go. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball here for the 76ers. Gets over to Tobias Harris. Harris looking for options. Flips out to Batum. Batum launching it through and got it. Nico Batum is absolutely on fire off the bench. Give him 13. Shooting the ball a perfect 5 of 5 from the field and 3 of 3 from three point range. Kelly Linick with the ball. Find Jordan Nawara. And that's intercepted by Nico Batum in the hands of Paul Reed. 
Reed going to try to drive that puts him up for two, cannot get it to fall. But Paul Reed will have the charity stripe here to shoot two free throws. And the foul will be called here against Grady. First one, the line is good here for Paul Reed. We do have a line of changes coming in here for the Toronto Raptors. Kobe Simmons and Mohamedou, Mohamedou Goye, who both are out of the game here to replace both Kelly Olenek and Javon Freeman Liberty. As the first one at the line is good for Paul Reed, but the second one at the line is no good for B. Paul Paul. Jalen McDaniels comes away here with the rebound. Jordan Award going to launch a three here for Toronto. It's way too strong off the glass. It will be rebounded here by, I think it was Goye. Goye comes away here with the, with the rebound here. And a loose ball foul called here against Cameron Payne, sending Goye to the line here to shoot. Two free throws there. First one, the line is good. And once again, the Toronto Raptors looking to trim into this Philadelphia 76 lead. Mohamedou Goye has barely played this year, only averaging eight minutes per game this season. And the second one, the line is no good. And here we go. Cameron Payne will bring the ball down the floor here for Philadelphia. Payne going to try to drive with it. Payne going to try to lay it up and block here and denied by Goye. And it'll be picked up by Jordan Award into the hands. Oh, I do believe that was Kobe Simmons. And he puts it in for two off the assist from Jordan Nawara. Here we go. Here's Tobias Harris with the ball. Harris looking for an option here. Setting up the offense. Trying to look for an option still. Harris going to his left. Now cutting on the inside. Guarded by Goya. Harris with the fadeaway shot for two and hits it. Clutch shot by Tobias. Massive shot. That shot was pretty big right there for Toby when we needed it most. Simmons with the ball. Coming on the inside. Puts up a floater for two and hits it. With 2.9 seconds remaining. And my best Zinn from heel to Payne. Payne try to drive. Much as a last minute shot. Will not hit it as it banks off the window. Misses the shot. And that will take us to the end of the third quarter. Where we will enter the fourth quarter. Where our Philadelphia 76ers. We'll be up over the Toronto Raptors here going into the fourth quarter with a score of 101 to 93. It was the 70, it was favoring the 76ers by double digits here, but now it's down to single digits as it looks like the Raptors are trying to make a comeback, but can they pull it off here against this soft 76ers team? We shall see as we head on here to the fourth quarter. There you go, guys. There is your score going into the fourth quarter, ladies and gents. There is your score. This is where the six is doing. Can't just let them come back. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, man. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, they didn't battle the same way they did in the first two quarters. I mean, Toronto is just picking things up and taking things to a whole new level, and they want to get off that 12-game losing streak. They're 0-10 in their last 10 games, and they want to get a victory here in front of their home crowd in Scotiabank Arena. But the 76ers just need to hang on to this win. And we better not have another cardiac game, and this 76ers team better not be sending me to the mental hospital. I don't need it on Easter, okay? I don't need to be sent to the mental hospital here on Easter, on Easter okay? Our Lord has risen from the dead. I don't need to be sent to the me mental hospital to deal with some rehab for my mental health because of the Sixers. <laughs> All because of them. 
But a lot of changes coming in here for the 76ers before the fourth quarter begins here. Kelly Oubre and Kyle Lowry will both enter the game here to replace Buddy Heald and Paul Reed. Sixers need to win this and get on the winning streak so we're going to be going into the playoffs. Exactly. You already know, man. You already know they have to do that. You already know they have to do that. The question is, can they? Can they win this game? You know the Raptors are going to play scrappy no matter what. It's just how they played the 76ers in the past as the fourth quarter is officially underway. Here we go. Kobe Simmons with the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Looking for options here is Simmons. Going to find his man, Goye. Goye going to find Jordan Nawara. Nawara guarded by Ubre all day long, but Nawara comes inside, puts the shot up, and puts it in for two. Here we go. Kyle Lowry going to bring the ball down the floor here. Kyle Lowry going to find Cameron Payne. He's going to find Lowry. Lowry out to Batum, launching a three, and got it. Nico Batum for three, knocks it down once again. And Nico Batum remains a perfect 6 of 6 from the field and 4 of 4 from three-point range and has 16 points off the bench. Simmons with the ball. Gets over to world Back to Simmons. Over to McDaniels. McDaniels going to put it up for two. Shortens the shot. Rebounded by Harris. And here come the Sixers. Nico Batum wants to win today and wants to compete. Harris with the ball, though, as the Sixers look for a response. Gets it over to Lowry. Back to Harris. Harris going to try to drive. Harris going to lay it out off the window for two, and Harris puts it in. And a big-time shot right there from Tobias when it matters. But Nico Batum is playing his absolute butt off today, and I love it. Jill McDaniels with the ball, losing it out of bounds. I think it's going to stay with Toronto. It will stay in possession of the Toronto Raptors here. And the inbound pass is in here to Grady. Grady jumping out of bounds. Did not step out of bounds, though, as Jordan Nawara launches a three for Toronto. Short, too strong with the shot. Goye comes away with the rebound. What did they call? I don't know what they called here. Like, what did they call? Looks like they called a foul here against Philadelphia. But Goye with the ball here for the Raptors. Kicks it out to Kobe Simmons. Kobe Simmons losing the ball, but the 76ers trying to dive on top of it. 76ers trying to dive on top of it, but just cannot. So it looks like it's going to stay with... Raptors specifically jumping on it is Cameron Payne. With three and a half seconds remaining on the shot clock, the Raptors will have possession of the basketball. Joe McDaniels trying to inbound the ball and hit it off of Ubre's foot. So it is once again another inbound pass here for Toronto. And on pass is in here from Jalen McDaniels. And Grady tries to go over the backboard and cannot. And it will be picked up by Tobias Harris here on the rebound. Who will get it over towards Cameron Payne. Payne going to find Tobias Harris. Harris looking for options. Darts it over to Lowry. Back to Harris. Harris going to drive against Grady. Harris the fadeaway shot for two. Cannot hit it. Rebounding here by the Raptors. And here comes Jalen McDaniels. McDaniels the former sixer. Guarded by Tobias Harris. Dumps off the Jordan Wara, launching a three, swirls the iron, misses it, and be rebounded by Batum in the hands of Lowry, who tries to get it over to Cameron Payne, but it'll be taken away by Grady. And the Raptors with the ball will be will have the ball in the hands of Jordan Wara, who will get it over to Jalen McDaniels. McDaniels going to his right around a Grady screen. McDaniels going to find Kobe Simmons, who will get it over to 
Goya in. Goya is going to put it in for the two-point shot. Off the assist from here from Kobe Simmons. Here we go. The Sixers looking to bounce back here. They're only up by nine with nine minutes remaining here in the game. Kyle Lowry with the ball here. Going to his left. Lowry going to get it over towards Batum. Batum fakes the handoff. Now gets it out there to Harris. Harris started here by Grady. Harris going to fling out the Batum. Launching a three. And we have a fourth quarter wedgie as the ball gets stuck in the rim. And there will be a jump ball here between Kelly Oubre and Muhammadu and Muhammadu Goye. A wedgie, if you guys do not know, is also known as a rim jam. When the ball does get stuck in the rim. Kelly Oubre did make contact with the ball first, but will be picked up by Grady. And McDaniels will drive to the basket and will lay it up for two. From one feet at, from a single foot out. But Uber will respond with a one footer of his own. Off the assist from Cameron Payne as we continuously go back and forth. Here we go. Goye with the ball here for the Raptors. Goye looking for options. <clears throat> Goye gonna find his man. Kobe Sins gets it over to Jordan Nawara. And the ball will go out of bounds here, and it will stay here with Toronto. And down in the ball here will be Jalen McDaniels, the former Philadelphia 76er. Jalen McDaniels inbounds the ball, inbounds it to Goye. Goye going to drive, going to try to sidestep his way for two, cannot find it. And rebound here by the Sixers. It'll be picked up by KJ Martin in their hands of Lowry. Back to Martin, out the paint. Launching a three from the left wing and gets it to go. Big time three right there from Cameron Payne to bring that lead back up to double digits here for the Sixers. Grady going to be fouled here. With 7.48 remaining. But it looks like it will be, I think, a foul on the floor, unless if he just lost the ball. If he lost the ball, then it's going to stay with Toronto regardless. Here we go. Inbound passes in. Kobe Simmons with the ball. Going to drive. Going to lay it up for two. Cannot hit it on the floor. Rebound by KJ Martin in the hands of Kyle Lowry. Lowry paint down the floor. Launching a three. Right outside the three-point line. And Kyle Lowry gets it to fall. A big time shot right there by Kyle Lowry and the lead back up to 15 here for your Philadelphia 76ers as we have a timeout call here by Darko Rehakovic here for the Toronto Raptors, for the Raptors head coach. And we have a 15 point lead here favoring the 76ers with seven and a half minutes remaining. Can the 76ers get off their three game losing streak or will the Toronto Raptors make a, a massive comeback here? and get off their 12-game losing streak here and get back on the winning ways. Somebody's going to win today and get off their losing streak. The question is, who will it be? Since we need him to be back because we're a totally different team without him. Absolutely, absolutely agree. Says, come on, Sixers. You already know what it is, MC. Let's go. I definitely agree, though, Eagles. We are – they're a completely different team if we have Joel when we have Joel and B. When we have Joel and B 100 percent we are a completely different team. When we have Joel and B, we're not 39 and 35 right now, going to the final stretch of the year. That's for sure. We're not 39 and 35 overall with an 18 and 19 record on the road. So yeah, we're definitely a much better team when Jamal and Beat is playing. I don't know why this keeps doing this.
Guys, we need one more like to 10 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to get us there? Who's going to get us to 10 likes, ladies and gentlemen? will get us that 10th flight, ladies and gentlemen, and will the 76 be able to pull out the W? We're by 15, but they got to hold on to the lead. Cody Uber has got 32. Nico Batum has 16 off the bench, which has been crazy. That Nico Batum has been near perfect today. That miss from earlier by Nico Batum was his first miss all game, which is unbelievable for Nico Batum. He's really stepped it up on a night like tonight where he had to take advantage of the opportunity. Here we go. Freeman Liberty here with the ball here for the Raptors as the game is back on. Gets it over to Kelly Olenek. Olenek in a battle against Lowry. Going to finger roll the layup for two and hits it. Kelly Olenek picking things up here where he left off here for the Raptors. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball here for Philadelphia. Payne looking for options here. Going to his right. Payne with the sidestep three. Payne launches it and hits it. Cameron Payne with a big-time shot here to put the 76ers up by 16. 6.45 remaining here in the fourth. Olenek with the ball off the pass. Gets guarded by K.J. Martin. As Gary Trent Jr. is able to put the shot up for two and puts it in through the hole. Here we go, Cameron Payne with the ball. Going to get over to KJ Martin. Back to Payne. Payne going to lay it up for two and puts it in. Cameron Payne been step, has been stepping up here so far in this fourth quarter. It's just been stepping up overall, honestly. He's really starting to pick things up a little bit. Be a contributor on this team. He's got 18 points right now, for, for goodness sake. He's got 18 points. In the starting five. Like, that's insane. 119 105 is your score. Cameron Payne going to get over to Buddy Heald. Going to try to find KJ Martin, but that's taken away and stolen by Toronto. Jordan Nawar coming through and throwing it down with a grown man, one handed Jack Hammer. A thunderous throw down here for Jordan Nawar. Here we go. Here come the Sixers as Cameron Payne with the ball. Going to get over to Uber. Going to find Bo Heald. Heald going to find Kyle Lowry. Lowry looking for options here. Lowry dancing all day long. Lowry going on the inside. Lowry loses the ball. Picked up by Gary Trent Jr. into the hands of Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown going to get over to Freeman Liberty. But Freeman Liberty will not be able to get to fall. But will be fouled on the play. We'll be found on the play here by Buddy Heald. First one of the line is good here for Javon Freeman Liberty. And for the time I'll call you by Nick Nurse to talk things over with this team. Can the 76ers hold on to this for this lead for now, which is sitting at 11. Can they hold on to the lead and get the W and get off the three-game losing streak? Or will the Toronto Raptors find a way to come back and give the 76ers their fourth consecutive loss in a row? He says, come on, Sixers, what hairstyle do you like on Joel? I like just the simple hairstyle where Joel Embiid has all, like, the – he's got, like, the fro sticking out. He's got, like, the hair just 
sticking out like a like a sore thumb. I kind of like that though. I like when Joel Embiid's got the got the kind of like the fro going. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused, rooted, and grounded, unmovable Sixers, yes, sir. This is please like, share, and subscribe to be a part of this powerful, powerful stream broadcast on BLC Sports Channel. Yes, sir, you already know. Let's keep your foot on the gas. You already know it. Let's kid it. Let's get off this losing streak. You already know, man. Come on. Please, no cardiac finish. Please, I beg to God. <laughs> I beg. <laughs> No cardiac finish, please. Just let it be relaxing. Let it be like I'm in my chair at the beach, just enjoying the weather. Please. <laughs> no cardiac finish. I'm begging on my knees, dude. Just no cardiac finish and I will be fine. Oh, my gosh. We have to have another cardiac game for the five million consecutive time in a row. I'm going to lose it. Every game is a cardiac game when you're when you're rooting for Philly. Every game is a cardiac game. Let's get this W Sixers no choking, please. Yes, please. I beg. Nick Nurse took the timeout after the first free throw made here for the Raptors. Made by Javon Freeman Liberty, and he'll come on to go ahead and attempt the second free throw. In the meantime, though, Tobias Harris and Nico Batu both entered the game to replace Buddy Heald and KJ Martin. Freeman Liberty to go ahead and attempt the second free throw. And it is good here for Javon Freeman Liberty. Here we go. The 76ers look to respond. What do they have up their sleeve here? Ubre with the ball. Going to flip over to Lowry. Going to find the tomb over to Ubre. Back to Harris. Over to Ubre. Ubre going to flip it out to Harris. Harris going to launch a three from the left wing and hits it again. Tobias Harris with a big time shot here for the 76ers to put them up 13 with less than five minutes to go. Javon Freeman liberated with the ball. Bring it down the floor. Guarded by Cameron Payne. Going to flip it over to Olenek. Olenek looking for options, driving, trying to dump it off to Nawar, cannot do so. Freeman Liberty has the ball stripped and taken away by Uber for the moment. And Uber is fouled on the play by Tully Olenek. Come on, let's go. It's big time. In the meantime, though, here for the Toronto Raptors, Brady will enter the game here to replace Jordan Nawara, and Jordan Nawara will head to the bench. Tobias Harris has had a solid performance tonight, I would say. Not anything crazy, but, you know, just solid. I'll talk about the stats at the end of the game. As Uber launches three from the top of the key and airballs it, sends it off to no man's land as he airmails that all the way down to the next street coming out of Scotiabank Arena. But the 76ers shot the ball really nicely from three, 21 and 38, being 55%. As Olenek with the ball collides with Bruce Brown, but gets it out to Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent, guarded by Tobias Harris, drives. Gary Trent Jr. up off the window, puts it in. Tough shot right there from Gary Trent Jr., and the 76ers will look to bounce back. What do they have? What do the 76ers have up their sleeve? Cameron Payne with the ball, dancing, dribbling. Payne still looking, finds Harris. Harris guarded here by Grady. Harris going to spin. Harris going to pump fake. Kick it out to Batum. Out to Payne. Payne kicking out to Uber. Uber going to launch a three from the corner. Right as the shot clock expires. Cannot get it to fall. Be rebounding here by the Raptors. Bruce Brown going to find Grady. Going to get it over to Freeman Liberty. And Freeman Liberty will have that ball knocked away. It will go out of bounds. And it will stay with Toronto. With slightly over three and a half minutes remaining. Actually, Kyle Lowry actually rejected that and said, get that out of here. Freeman Liberty inbounds, though, to Grady. Grady kicking it out to Gary Trent Jr., launching a three and is cash money for Gary Trent Jr. 
And Nick Nurse just wanted to look at his guys playing right now, see what's going on. And say, my man Kyle Lowry's stuck. I need a timeout. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop with the cardiac, please. <laughs> Y'all got me on life support over here, guys. Come on. Y'all got me on in the mental hospital right now. Let's go. Get me out of this mental hospital and just get this win already. So we can sweep this Raptors team in the regular season series. Because boy, do we Boy, do we need this win. We win. We need to get win number 40 on the year. This team is currently 39-35 right now. A win by them gets them win number 40 on the year. And would that impact anything in the standings is the question. Let's go to the full NBA standings see what it would do here. So it wouldn't do anything just yet because the 76ers are a game and a half behind Miami. And the Miami here are currently playing Wizards, and they're probably about to—they're basically about to beat them. So, no help in terms of the 76ers jumping up a spot. The 76ers are going to need a lot of help to get out of the playing tournament. They're going to need a lot of help. They're going to need a lot of help to get out of the playing. My guy, Star Wars 99, what's going on, my guy? I appreciate you for coming through this good win by the Phillies today. Absolutely, man. You already know what it is, my guy. I'll get back to this comment in a little bit. As Kyle Lowry inbounds here to Tobias Harris. Harris gets it back over to Lowry with the game being back on. Lowry flips it to Cameron Payne. Back to Uber. Out to Payne for three. And got it. Huge three right there from Cameron Payne. Massive shot here for the Sixers with under, with under three minutes left. Olympic with the ball, going to pump fake against Batum, going to put it up, and going to put it in. Here we go. The Sixers will, res will help the response. They bring it down the floor. Payne with the ball, going to find Harris. Harris put it here by Grady, looking for some separation. Harris going to his right, now guarded by Olympic. Harris going to drive and spin, going to back in. Harris going to work in the paint. Going to lay it up off the window for two. And Tobias Harris puts it in. Let's go. John Freeman, Liberty with the ball. Going to get it over to Olenek. Over to Gary Trent Jr. Out to Brady. Brady at the right wing. Now comes in from the mid-range. Puts it up for two. Bounce off the iron off the window. Misses it. And will be rebounded here by the Sixers. Kyle Lyra with the ball. Setting up the offense here. It's out to Harris. Harris at the top of the key. Harris going by Olenek. Dribbles with it. Harris looking. Finds Batum. Wide open for three. And God! Nico Batum has looked absolutely unstoppable today. Oh my gosh. He's looked amazing. Harry Trent Jr. looking to respond with the three and cannot. Here we go. Tobias Harris with the ball. 23 three-point field goals made for the 76ers, which is which is actually tied for a franchise record. But soon getting out to pain, launching a three. Swirls the yard, but Tobias Harris cleans up the mess on aisle five and puts it back on a big-time two-handed thunderous throwdown. Free and Liberty with the ball here. Four needs to run around, just puts the shot up for two and puts it in. A timeout called here by Nick Nurse to talk things over with his team. But let me tell you guys something. This man, Nico Batum, this might have been one of, if not, his best game of the year. This might have been his best game of the year. Look at his numbers on the bench and tell me this is not his best game of the season. 19 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steals. Seven of eight for the field and five of six for three. I love it. I love it, Nico. Beautiful. Un magnifico. Mwah. Beautiful, Nico Batum. Fantastic. We got Star Wars 99, my guy. It was a good win by the Phillies. Today. And you know what? I had I had to do it since Tyrese Maxey was not playing due to a hip injury which hopefully it is not that serious as we look for an 
update within the within the coming days here. It looks like Tyrese Massey is mainly just having this game just for rest because I doubt he really had anything serious happen to him. I doubt he had anything serious happen to him because otherwise we would have knew from the last game. So hopefully Tyrese Massey can return next game on Tuesday against the Oklahoma City Thunder. As far as 99, to answer your comment, by the way, because Tyrese Maxey was not able to go tonight, I had to go ahead and do it for the one time. I had to go ahead and represent the Phillies for getting win number one of the season against the Atlanta Braves. Now, I didn't know if we didn't, didn't sweep the Braves or gentlemen sweep them at the very least. But, hey, a win is a win at the end of the day when it's all said and done. But shout out to you for coming through, my guy. Hit the like button, channel, done so, Star Wars 99. Appreciate you for coming through the stream. And Cameron Payne launches another three. Oh, my gosh. Cameron Payne has looked amazing today as well. Six of ten from three is Cameron Payne in this game right now. Imagine we could play this every night. Freeman Liberty with the ball. Going to get it over to Gorge. Gorge going to find his man. It's going to be Jalen McDaniels who will lay it up and lay it in just like so. 24 three-point field goals, which is now a franchise record thanks to Cameron Payne for most three-pointers made in a singular game, man. Let's go. Here we go. Cameron Payne with the ball, just going to kind of dribble it out. Probably just going to wait for the shot clock to go ahead and expire. And Cameron Payne's not even going to bother launching a shot. As the clock winds down here, and the game is over as your Philadelphia 76ers will get the win here over the Toronto Raptors in a very high-scoring performance by a final score here of 135 to 120. A big-time win here for the 76ers on the road here in Toronto. And this is one that they needed for sure. Where are the game going towards Kelly Oubre with a season high of 32 points, shooting the ball 10 of 22 from the field. 6 of 11 from three-point range, 7 rebounds, 2 steals, 2 blocks, but that 32 points, a season high for Kelly Oubre. Beautiful. There you go, guys. There is your final score to this game. You already know, man. You already know. The Stars 99 absolutely needed to avoid the sweep. Now the Reds tomorrow. Yeah, you already know. Next series, man. On to the next game. We need to get ready for the Reds and play some great baseball. Let's blow them out. Yes, sir. And I know the, the chat's begging for it right now, man. You got Charles begging for it. Eagles saying, let's go Sixers. Everybody's begging for it in the chat. It was a great win tonight, in my humble opinion. Yes, sir. So let's go, baby. And everybody's begging for it in the chat right now, ladies and gentlemen. And this is one of the better games that the 76ers have played. But, ladies and gents, you already know we got to go ahead and do it right now. You already know what happens after every win, right? You already know what happens after every win. We got to go ahead and do it for the one time at bare minimum. So, music producer, Get in your spot right now because you got to go ahead and do something that we have not experienced in three consecutive games in a row. Music producer, go ahead and do it for the one time, music producer. Play the song. Let's go, guys. That is a massive win right there for our Philadelphia 76ers. That was a big time win when it mattered most, man. Let's go. It's a good day for Philadelphia. 11 likes and climbing. Hey, shout out to everybody that's. That's been up here supporting on this Easter Sunday. This is heck yeah, good day indeed. Let's get it on. LMAO with the laugh emojis. You know you want to dance, Bev. Pull up, please. Once is, once is not enough. And Bev's laughing. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, you already know. 
that usually I have to ask the chat and let them know if we want to run it back. But since we went ahead and got at least 10 likes on the stream, I will go ahead and answer the question for myself. And based on what the stream is looking like right now, it seems to me that we got to go ahead and do it right. So music producer, get back in your spot right now and get ready to do it for the second time. Let's go ahead and wake up the neighbors and play it for the second time. Music producer, get in your spot and let's wake up the neighbors for the second time. Music producer, play it once again for the second time. Play the song. Guys, that is a big one right there for our Philadelphia 76ers. Hey, neighbors, y'all heard that? Y'all heard the song, right? Yeah, that's right. We're waking y'all up. We're waking you up. We're waking your kids up. We're waking your pets up. We're waking up your husbands, your wives. We're waking up everybody. We're waking up the neighbors. That's right. We're waking up the neighbors right now. That's right. Waking up the neighbors in proper fashion. That's right. So this is powerful indeed. That was like, do it. Let's run it back. So let's go. GG, my brother. Have a good night. Till next game. Yes, sir, my guy. Appreciate you for coming through, my guy. He's in control. He's down. Which, speaking of the next game, ladies and gentlemen, I do, if I'm not mistaken, that's not going to be until Thursday. Because April 2nd is a Tuesday against OKC. And unfortunately, I have to, I have to work that day. So. I will not be able to do the game on Tuesday, but I will be able to do the game on Thursday against the Miami Heat when the 76ers will unfortunately have to go on the road for the start of a three-game road trip. This is oh, well. I know the next game is Tuesday, my guy, but I cannot do the game on Tuesday because, again, I have to work. So the next game I will be able to do is on Thursday when the 76ers will be taking on the Miami Heat on the road. So. Next time I can live stream is on Thursday, so. So, yeah, shout out to you for coming through and tuning in, my guy. He's up, controls down. This is the sub of Philadelphia 76 Just Do it. You already know. So, okay, see you. See you then, bro. Yeah, take care. He's up, controls down. Appreciate you for coming through, my guy. Ladies and gents, really quickly here down below in the chat, give me one word to go ahead and describe tonight's game. Mm, what's my one word? Because it really kind of wasn't like that stressful. Guys, let me know your one word in the chat to describe this game tonight. Let me know. I'm trying to think of one because I can't say cardiac because this team won by 15 points today. So I can't really go cardiac. I'll just say, like, here's my one word. My one word to describe this game, execution. The execution was absolutely on point. The execution was absolutely on point from the 76 basically all game long against the Toronto Raptors team. When they were letting the Toronto Raptors have an opportunity to come back into the game, what do they do? They have a coach that actually knows how to adjust come in games. So Nick Nurse did a great job tonight on his end. The players did a great job adjusting on their end. And you know what? They execute to perfection. I guess it's stress-free. Have a good night. Great show. Hey, Beverly, I appreciate you coming through. Hopefully, hope to see you on Tuesday. Or not Tuesday, on um, Thursday. Because I can't – I cannot go live for the um, – Game on Tuesday against the Oklahoma City Thunder because I have to work that night. So I will see you on Tuesday, Babylon. Appreciate you coming through. So did we sweep the Raptors? No, we did sweep the Toronto Raptors for the regular season series. We already beat the Toronto Raptors in the regular season series, season series by winning the first three games. And with this win, we officially went ahead and got the complete sweep. So great job by the Sixers. We'll also go ahead and get the job done and sweep the Toronto Raptors on the regular season. But on that note, ladies and gents, we're going to go ahead and go over the final stats, and then we're going to go ahead and get out of here for the remainder of the night. Continue to give me 
your thoughts down below in the chat. And drop the brooms for, because for the fact that we did go ahead and sweep the Toronto Raptors in the regular season, be sure to go ahead and drop the brooms in the chat and give me your one word to go ahead and describe tonight's game. So my guy Eagle says, bring out the brooms. Yes, sir, you already know. But, guys, we're going to go over the final stats real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Starting it off here on the Philadelphia 76ers side was Kelly Oubre, who was the player of the game, finishing his night with 32 points, seven rebounds, three assists, as well as two steals and two blocks. And then following it up here for the Philadelphia 76ers was Cameron Payne, who stepped up in a massive way today, who ends off the – Knight here with 24 points, a rebound, three assists. And following it up is the is Tobias Harris, who ended off his night nearly with a double-double, but did have a really nice performance tonight in the starting five, finishing his night with 21 points, nine rebounds, three assists, and three blocks. And following it up off the bench was Buddy Heald, or not Buddy Heald, Nico Batum, I should say. Nico Batum finishes his night with 19 points, Six rebounds, two assists, and two steals. Following it up off the bench is then Buddy Heald, who ends off his night with 13 points, three rebounds, and three assists, as well as a block. And back to the starting five where you have Kyle Lowry finishing his night with a double-double of 11 points, a rebound, and 10 assists, as well as a steal and two blocks. Following that up, you have Paul Reed off the bench finishing his night with nine points and two rebounds, as well as a block. Then you have Mo Bamba in the starting five, finishing his night with four points, four rebounds, and an assist, as well as a steal and a block each. And then rounding it off here for the Philadelphia 76ers at the end of this game was K.J. Martin, who ends off his night with two points, five rebounds, and two assists to end off the final stats here for your Philadelphia 76ers. Now over to the Toronto Raptors side now. Gary Trent Jr. ends up leading the way here for the Toronto Raptors at the end of this one with 23 points, two rebounds, two assists, two steals, and a block. Then following it up here for the Toronto Raptors at the end of this game off the bench was Jordan Nawara, who ends off his night with nine points, four or not nine, 19 points, four rebounds, and three assists, as well as a block. Then following it up for the Toronto Raptors is Kelly Olynyk who finished his night with a double-double of 18 points, five rebounds, and 11 assists, as well as three steals. Then Bruce Brown follows it up with a, with a performance of 18 points, four rebounds, six assists, and two steals. And then Grady follows it up with a performance of 12 points, a rebound, two assists, and a steal. And then Javon Freeman Liberty follows it up with a performance of 11 points. Seven rebounds, two assists, and a steal in the starting five. Then going to the bench now, we have Jalen McDaniels, the former 76er, finishing his night with eight points, four rebounds, and an assist off the bench. You have, was it Kobe Simmons? Then following it up here for the Toronto Raptors, you had Kobe Simmons finishing his night with six points, a rebound, three assists off the bench. He had, I would like to just call him Mo, Mo Goye, but he had Muhammadu Goye finishing his game at the end of this one with three points, a rebound, and an assist each, as well as a block. And then rounding it off here for the Toronto Raptors at the end of this one is Garrett Temple, who ends off his night with two points and two rebounds to end off the foul stats here for the Toronto Raptors. Now we're to the team stats now as the Philadelphia 76ers at the end of this game finished up shooting the ball 57.6% from the field to the Toronto Raptors 52.2%. The Philadelphia 76ers finished shooting the ball 55.8% from three-point range to the Toronto Raptors 36.7%. The Philadelphia 76ers finished shooting the ball 81.3% from the free throw line to the Toronto Raptors 75%. The Philadelphia 76ers overall out-rebounded the Toronto Raptors at the end of this game, 39-31. And then same thing in terms of the offensive rebounds favoring the 76ers, 9-7. In terms of assists, goes in favor of the Toronto Raptors, actually, 31-28. Steals also goes in favor of the Toronto Raptors, 
In terms of blocks, it was a block party for the Philadelphia 76ers as they were able to dominate in that category over the Toronto Raptors at the end of this one, 10 to 3. In terms of points to the paint, goes in the favor of the Toronto Raptors, actually 62 to 42. And a total of 31 personal fouls called, with 17 being called on the Philadelphia 76ers and 14 fouls being called on the Toronto Raptors. And ladies and gents, on that note, that is how the final stats will come to an end here in this one. 76ers getting a massive win here over the Toronto Raptors at the end of this game, 135 to 120. And now move to 40 and 35 on the year and look to climb their way back up into the standings. And look to climb their way back up into the Eastern Conference. As we will go ahead and finish it out here with the chat. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this game. This is until next stream. Peace on behalf of Beal host Kumar Rears. Thanks for your outstanding contribution on the live stream broadcast tonight. Regards, Charles Early. Hey, Charles, man, appreciate you for coming through, my guy, and constantly supporting. So bring out the brooms. You already know, man. Guys, put the broom emojis in the chat. Put the broom emojis in the chat. Let's go. This is great when six is my one word is important. Yes, this one word, this game was important for the 76ers' sake in terms of the standings. This win was important. Sweep it clean, keep it clean. Yes, sir. <clears throat> So the Sixers have swept two teams this year, the Wizards and the Raptors. A shout out to the Sixers for getting the job done tonight. It's fantastic to sweep a division rival. Yes, sir, you already know. This is Charles, absolutely. Eagles, we need Joel and B to return. I don't think any team in the Eastern Conference wants to see the Sixers in the playoffs. Yeah, they definitely don't. If Joel and B gets back to 100% healthy, back on the court, and when he does, and if he looks 100% dominant, then nobody is going to want this team, want to see this team in the playoffs. I'm telling you. You have someone who is going to adjust in Nick Nurse. You have a coach right there who's going to adjust in Nick Nurse. You could take a little bit off of Tyrese Maxey, depending on how Joel Embiid looks. You'll hopefully, you'll hopefully have Tobias Harris just be a role player every night and doing what he does. You'll hopefully have some consistent role players every single game. You know, hopefully you'll have Batum look like the way he did every game. Cameron Payne look like the way he did every game. Buddy he would hopefully do his job. Same thing going to Kyle Lowry. And you'll hopefully have Paul Reed continue to step up in a big way. So hopefully you see those guys get back to doing what they do. And hopefully we also see Robert Covington and Jerome B get back to full strength. And hopefully DeAnthony Melton will as well when it gets to towards playing playoff time. I'm not too worried about Maxi because they didn't say he was going to be out for a long period of time. So hopefully he will be back by next game. And we'll be able to help out the 76ers team. This is in the next couple months of series. The Phillies play beatable teams, so they have to come out strong and get as many wins as possible and hopefully some sweeps. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully they do make it happen. CMB is such a big loss. They are a brand new team without him. Exactly. They look like a team that literally just – Came out of high school. Uh, my 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 girls' basketball high school team would be better than the 76ers without Joel Embiid. I'm just playing, though. I'm just playing. I mean, my school's girls, basket, girls' basketball team did win states this year, so it is what it is. It says, Eagles, all the best for your Philadelphia Phillies. I'm a Baltimore Orioles fan. Hey, shout out to the Orioles, man. Y'all got the legend himself, Craig Kimbrell. You got the man who looks like this every time he goes up to pitch. <laughs> uh, but it all ought to be fun with y'all having Craig Kimbrell, Kimbrell on your team. It says, but we need to be back prepared to be fully, 100% better to be fully healthy. You already know. This is Charles, thanks, and best of luck to your Orioles. I have a ton of respect for them. This is great work at Beal. Thanks. Hey, Charles, man, I got you, my guy. Be sure to come through on Thursday. Eagles continuing, continuously putting the rooms in the chat. And then it says, peace be all. Have a great week. God bless. Hey, Eagles, man, shout out to you, my guy, for coming through and tuning in. So hopefully the Sixers can beat the Thunder Tuesday night. I hope they can pull it off, man. It's going to be a tough game, though. I'm going to go through everybody they have on their team, including Chet Holmgren. And I don't know why I'm drawing a blank, but, oh, yeah, SGA, Shea Gildress Alexander. Going, having to go through those two is going to be a challenge. And with all the role players they have, is going to make it even harder. This is much blessing in favor. Good night, network family. Hey, Charles, man, appreciate you for coming through, my guy. Have a good one, my guy. 
Let's have a good one. Let's see you next time. Yes, sir. Shout out to Charles for coming through. So see you Thursday. Yes, sir. You already know. Well, guys, looks like that is all we have in terms of the chat giving me their immediate thoughts after the game. The 76ers' next game will be on Tuesday against the Oklahoma City Thunder, which I will not be able to live stream, like I said before, because I do have to work, unfortunately. But I will be back for the game after Tuesday, Tuesday night's matchup where the Philadelphia 76ers will, will match up on Thursday against the – Thanks to the Miami Heat, and yes, it is. So I will be back for to live stream Thursday night's matchup where the Philadelphia 76ers will take on the Miami Heat in Miami. So hopefully the 76ers can win against OKC, and hopefully they can get a win against Miami. My guy Charles Eilly says this is powerful indeed. You already know. But hopefully the 76ers are able to build off this win and hope, hope to get a lot more wins coming up. And hopefully, it will not be a guarantee, but hopefully we can see Joel be back on the floor Tuesday night. And he will definitely be on a minutes restriction for the amount of games that he's missed. But hopefully he's able to come back and just perform well for hopefully just a solid amount of minutes because they are not going to play him a lot. They're just going to kind of just get his mitts wet, get his feet wet, get some games under his belt here for – for the playoffs start. So hopefully Joel Embiid looks fine and he looks like his normal self when he comes back. But on that note, ladies and gents, this is pretty much going to go ahead and do it for me here in this one. The 76ers get the win here over the Toronto Raptors by a final score of 135 to 120. And now move to 40 and 35 on the year with a record of 19 and 19 on the road. So now the 76ers will look to build off this win and will look to win their game against the Oklahoma City Thunder come Tuesday. But on that note, ladies and gents, that's pretty much going to go ahead and do it for me. Be sure to like and subscribe, guys. I'm not done, so ladies and gents, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out. The Sixers win. Let's go. Peace, everybody. Have a good night, y'all. God bless and peace, and everybody have a happy Easter.